Joseph is getting his weapons ready. Yeah, he's getting. His <laughs> yeah, these, these, these are modern. These are modern weapons. These. This is one of the. You know, this weapon is more dangerous than. I got three of them pointed at me. Mm. Uh, I just got one. <laughs> there is there is no antagonism here. Three three friendly cameras pointing at you. Now this one we don't know if this one is we don't know if this one is a friendly one. <laughs> yeah. I, I put the full debate up and I put the one minute debate up for the shorts. And okay. I'm sure you understand what a short is. Yeah. So 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 the point I'm making is that Muslim people, generally speaking, when you go and live with them, spend time with them. You'll come to realize that these people are not what the Western media and Western politicians and Western prostitutes are telling them. Have you heard of the term prostitute? Prostitute is basically uh, a press person who is hired to spew hatred on uh, Muslims. So we call them prostitutes. Okay, it, it rings a bell. It's, a, it's very similar to another word. What word uh, is that? Prostitutes. What are they? You don't know? Okay, let me teach you some English then. Let me teach you some English then. Today, there will be a lesson on, in, on the English language. He was calling it a weapon though, so maybe it was. So, Joseph, you're getting your camera ready. Only, only I'm getting nervous now. And, and facing directly at me. And I'm thinking, what's going to come my way now? No, you, you mm. said about Israel. I thought we were talking about Israel. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Wait, okay. before you get into a big debate about that, yeah. so you would say even if the foundations of Judaism were proven to be false, you would still be Jewish. So I, yeah, I, ethnically, yes. No, well, ethnically, saying, obviously. Yeah. I'm saying I don't believe they would be proven, and I think Judaism has the flexibility to evolve at the time. So well, I gave the if example you look of the Maimonides. account I suggested on. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll he, he gives a lot of evidence that rabbis have conceded the Torah has been corrupted, yeah. been abrogated. Um, hadith have been copied. This is the opposite, Baltos. If you can't add to the Torah, you can't. You have to make okay, it. okay, okay. But, but there so is your Muslim who's telling you this is is misrepresenting. No, there is it. physical evidence. No, you know, it's a different thing. It's a different, he's, he's saying this. Jews, Jewish rabbis, believe the Torah is being corrupted, yeah. and that's 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 wrong. And if you've got a Muslim account that's telling you this is what Judaism is, no, but he cites rabbis. He may, he may be, I can I can misrepresent the Quran. I can say that Islam teaches Muslims to strike the neck of the disbeliever. The Torah, the the, the no, Jewish, he's not, he's not like, no no, the Jewish scriptures themselves tell the Jewish people that the the scriptures have been corrupted. I don't know about that. No, there is, there is a direct verse in Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter eight, and Jeremiah. In chapter 8, verse 8, is specifically talking about the scribes of the law. They have corrupted the book. I don't know what Joseph has to say on that. Okay, so, so, so the book itself, the book itself, it's like the Quran. We believe in the Quran and there would be a verse in the Quran saying, Quran has been corrupted. Okay, this Quran you guys are reading is corrupted. To the contrary, the Quran tells us this book will never be corrupted. It will be protected. God will protect it himself because it is meant to be for eternity. It will last until the day of judgment. And the Quran to this day stands the test of time. It hasn't been corrupted. On the, on the other hand, we have plenty of evidence on the Torah and the rest of the books of the Jewish scripture. They have been corrupted. They've been changed beyond recognition. Right? I don't know what Joseph thinks of this. And, uh, no, wait, could I finish? Because I need to go in it. <laughs> and, and I wonder what Joseph thinks of those prophecies about an Arabian prophet. Okay? Being a, being a Jew, I believe Joseph obviously has read those passages. And uh, if those passages... Also, one interesting thing is the historian Bernard Lewis concedes that Jew Jewish theology copies a lot from Islamic theology. Yeah. Believe the image yeah. Is true, but yeah. 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 Hey, it's a No, the language. Hebrew language in its current form oh, yeah, it's very uses the classical Arabic language to explain many things. Like, uh, yes. No, like what? I don't know this. So I'm asking. Like what? You don't know this. We re read the Jews of Islam. It talks about this. So in, you're talking modern Hebrew. I'm talking medieval Hebrew. So medieval the, Hebrew. The Jewish rabbis in Spain use the Arabic language to decipher many uh, terms uh, they could not explain Rashi, in the Hebrew language. Rashi does the same and he uses French. Yeah, he was based in no French. problem. No yeah, problem. So, so, so I, uh, no problem. I have no problem with that. I'm saying. I implore you to reread the Jews of Islam. It talks about this a lot. It actually has entire like 
page talking about how Arabic and, Jew, uh, and Hebrew are so interlinked. So, so, so Arabic and Hebrew are interlinked. Yeah. So, so Joseph has become my fan officially because he is standing behind the camera and filming me I'm repeatedly. The audio. <laughs> okay. So, so, so I wonder what you think. So, so, I would like to discuss Joseph. You need to have a cameraman. I do, not, but unfortunately, I don't get paid for any of this. And so, if someone wants to follow, I don't. Like, it does, that's I, 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 I've never paid for. I've never been paid for this. No, but you, come on. Right, so I need to start asking these guys to to share some of the blessings. Hmm? If, if any of the double guys want to volunteer for the Zionists, we're more than happy to have you as I they, they, they won't do that. They won't do that. It's like asking them to volunteer for ISIS. No, they wouldn't do I that. I mean, some of them from the park They're, did, but we won't go there. From the park? Yeah, there was one of the guys, one of your cameramen was arrested in jail for having an ISIS. And no, he, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and, and what happened? What did we say about that? Distance yourself. What? No, 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 no. If an ISIS guy walks through the park, is that our fault? No, he's yeah. Your if someone, if if an ISIS guy is peeing there Adnan, under a tree, your cameraman, and yet you, you no, 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 you no. Press, I agree. No. You're, you're filming. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're a Zionist. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You're a Zionist. To me, you're as good as ISIS. I mean, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm being blunt. And you're filming me right now. Are you my cameraman now? Are you my cameraman? No. So, 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 so before, talk, think before you talk. Think before you talk, Joseph. You the overwhelming a, a Zionist, a Zionist. I'm just going to have to do it with bad audio, but <laughs> it's going to make. No, you have, you have. A, I'm going to put these a bit yeah. lower down. It's just we're maxing out. Okay, so, so, so you are as good as an ISIS fighter to me. You are a Zionist, self-confessed, open, public Zionist. You are right. So to me, you are as good as ISIS. You're filming me right now. Are you my cameraman now? No. There are so many people here. I mean, I don't know. Hundreds of people have been filming us in the park. So this one guy turns out to be dodgy. They start making him our cameraman. This is what these people do. So Joseph, can you come back and respond to that? Just trying to get my audio. Leave it. Leave it. We will give you a copy from this. Come, 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 come. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. So, so now. Tell me, do you become my cameraman? Uh, technically, he's my cameraman at the moment. He's filming me right now. He's working so hard. He obviously loves me so much that he really wants to fix this. You know, it's catching my voice. I can see it there. Yeah, it's catching my voice. Leave it, man. So, 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 so if any extremist sneezes anywhere in the world, it's not my problem, right? Uh, but you are a Zionist. Anything the Zionist state does, you can argue for it, right? Joseph, you can talk from there. I'm going to talk what I said about that. Okay. So, so it's very easy to throw stones at people when you live in glass houses. Don't do that. Yeah? <laughs> While Joseph is, is busy doing that, uh, we've had many conversations in the past, myself and Joseph. Uh, we have a very cordial kind of relationship, even though we are far apart ideologically from each other. We are two different, uh, I, can, I would say, on, on, on the side of, I mean, two different sides of the fence, okay? I'm on the side of Islam, the Muslim civilization, the greater Muslim civilization, and I talk about the Muslim civilization and its impact on the world. Muslims, when they came to power in the 7th century, when they brought Islam as a political force into the world, they brought with them a civilization called the Muslim civilization. And people flourished under Islam, most importantly the Jewish people, right? And Zionist propagandists like Joseph, they argue that the Zionist state of Israel is a good thing. Okay? And when we challenge him on the atrocities they are committing for the last 70 years, they have been committing a lot of atrocities. He somehow attempts to defend those atrocities. Firstly, the theft of the land. Okay? Then forced migration or forced exile of the Palestinians, 
then the brutality that's that still continues last week how many people were killed last week last week innocent people and if a Muslim terrorist did that the same media around the world would be going crazy you know they would be going crazy if 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 and what does Israel say collateral damage these innocent people who died women and children in a bombing raid collateral damage collateral damage okay so if the Muslims are doing this then people like Joseph they would they would be running a marathon up and down the park he would go there he would come back and then he go back now he's fixed it oh good now we got it okay so now Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, we can see it. That's why this is into the camera. Yes. Okay, off we go. Okay. Off we go. Being being filmed being filmed by a Zionist cameraman. Okay, and several several. So, let's bring it back to principles. We both know what a Zionist is, but for the for the audience that don't know, a Zionist is simply anybody that supports the state, the existence of the state of Israel as a Jewish state. So you have Muslim states around the world, you have Christian states around the world, Israel's a Jewish one. If you support the Palestinians and you support an Israeli state, and you support a two-state solution, so Palestine and an Israel, then you're a Zionist. The overwhelming majority of British Jews, 82% of them, and the overwhelming majority of Jews in the world are by definition a Zionist. 82% of British Jews see Israel is central to their identity. So when, is, when Adnan compares Zionists to ISIS, he's saying anybody that supports that Jewish state is the equivalent to a barbarian that beheads um, people of a different faith, who enslaves Yazidi girls, who murders and rampages and causes hell on earth absolutely he, he's comparing all of the I'm people. standing by what I said in, in Israel as well. and this is you know Baha'is are in them they live fine do you exactly. know what I mean yeah, yeah. Arabs are, there are literally Muslim party in the Israeli government there are Arabs that have sent Jewish prime ministers and Jewish presidents to jail and this clown Hitler had to Hitler to ISIS Hitler had Jewish collaborators Hitler had Jewish collabor collaborators. Now, just because now Hitler, he's calling no, his fellow Muslims no, no. collaborators. Yes. Yeah, anyone working with the state of Israel to suppress, oppress, and abuse Palestinians is a collaborator. Uh, can I put it any uh, in, in any simpler words? Can I? This is the this is the simplest language I can use, right? So, coming back to the issue of Zionism, okay? It doesn't matter how many people agree with it. It makes no difference. Germany under Hitler was a Nazi Germany. The majority of Germans were with Hitler. Hitler was the most popular leader. How did he become the most popular leader? Through propaganda, through his charisma, through his practice of speeches. You know, Hitler actually would go and practice speeches. He would practice oratory. I believe Hitler as evil, as barbaric, as whatever as he was, he was one of the best auditors of the 20th century okay his auditory was very powerful his public speaking skills were very powerful he used them for evil ends he used them to massacre innocent Jewish people okay now just because Germans had become Nazis predominantly do we now say all the Germans are following Hitler so therefore to to accept uh, there is uh, uh, Nazism becomes acceptable just because 80 90 percent of the Germans were behind Hitler Firstly, I don't accept what Joseph says that most British Jews are Zionists. I don't accept that I don't accept that right, but even if that was the case Let's say 80 percent of the Jewish people living in Britain were Zionists. Does that render Zionism valid? Does that make Zionism a good? Uh, force in the world does that make Zionism an acceptable ideology? Absolutely not. So don't play this numbers game with us. Let's get to the crux of it. What is Zionism? It came about uh, in the in the late 19th century. A bunch of secular uh, Jewish journalists and intellectuals and tycoons and bankers they came together and they came up with this ideology. The Jewish rabbis 
had nothing to do with it, to my knowledge. They had nothing to do with it. Okay, to this day, many Jewish Orthodox groups are against Zionism, openly, publicly, right? So when you try to play this game, uh, equate Zionism with anti, uh, anti Zionism with anti Semitism, if that's the game you're trying to play, don't try. Adnan, it's not going to work. Stop putting words okay. in my mouth. And just like we just, can't, we did can't. Did I ever once, in anything I just say, talk about anti Semitism and anti Zionism? You have accused me of anti Semitism. For when you were anti Semitic? Yeah. No, when? No, when? when? Let's just deal, Adnan. We can let's, let's go back to that question if you Adnan, want. Adnan, let's stick on topic. Instead of what always happens, you leapfrog all over the place like Skippy the Kangaroo. Let's stay on subject. The subject at the moment is ISIS and Zionism. Yeah. So let's list the atrocities. And Good. interestingly, interestingly, let's do it. as an example of one of the most barbaric examples of an ideology, he goes to an Islamic ideology. That's interesting that you chose It's Islamic. not an Islamic ideology. They literally based that. They, you may be through false interpretation, so the Zionists. but it's on. So do the Zionists. You literally said the they Zionists. Call it the the Jewish, they call it a Jewish state. Okay, they I, call I, it. I, they call I it. didn't interrupt you. Yeah. And you spoke for about five Sorry, to we're ten keep minutes. It civil. We're gonna yeah, keep, let's it, keep civil. it civil. Yes. Good. We're gonna have a conversation. So, anybody who's ever met a Jew outside of Speaker's Corner will understand that the likelihood is that they have some form of connection to Israel. Whether they have family there, whether it, whether it's a religious reason. Like many Muslims that have connection Adnan, with Iraq and you, Syria. Adnan, can you keep quiet for two yes, seconds? Yes. I stop politely and listen to you insult me throughout oh, your diatribe. I apologize. I, please extend. Let, let's keep it short. Let, both, both sides. Keep, it, keep it short. You just spoke for 15 minutes, mate. No, no. I, I didn't speak for 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, people will time it. People will time it. People will time it. And then they'll come back to you. I didn't speak for 15 minutes. Maybe three minutes. But continue. Continue. You finish your point and I'm going to come back and we, we'll go like We're going to go through a few examples of why Jews are Zionists. The overwhelming majority of religious Jews support the existence of Israel today. In the UK. In the UK. You have small groups like the Ture Carter. There's like eight families in the UK. Sathmar in America, slightly larger Hasidic thing. But most Orthodox Jews support Israel. Most religious Jews support Israel. Support and the reason Israel they do that, they, 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 many support Israel, many support the Jewish solution of Israel. But so what's the percentage can, can I just, sorry, what's the percentage I, let, me, let him continue. Let him continue. Let him continue. Jo Joseph will expose his own inconsistency. When the Jew talks, they try no, to silence no, 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 them. When the, when, the, when the Muslim no, brother speaks, no one interrupts. Did anyone interrupt no. you from the audience? No. 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 Had they, did people no. interrupt me? Did people interrupt me? Yes. So, audience, I don't interrupt him, you don't interrupt him. Give me the same courtesy. So Jews pray three times a day to return and rebuild Jerusalem. The end of Jewish festivals, we say, no, sorry, we'll say next year in Jerusalem. When we eat bread, we pray about Israel. Like, literally, the entire Jewish religion revolves around Jews being in Israel. So, can you put it up there? The main reason that Jews support the existence of Israel today will either be religious or secular. As Adnan mentioned, many of the founding Zionists. Um, gosh, this is impossible. Continue, Joseph. Continue. No, no, please don't interrupt him. Don't interrupt. Him. Let him. I mean, listen. We don't want Joseph to stop. I want him to speak. I can respond to him. Wait, I have, I have plenty of arguments to respond. No problem. Continue, Joseph. Joseph, talk to me. Please. Okay. So. Jews suffered in almost every nation we lived in. Okay. The, okay. Okay. You're opening a new topic now. And let's stick, let's no, stick no, to I'm, Zionism. I'm literally giving the reason why Jews around the world support Israel. Okay, can I respond to what you said already? Very quickly. Well, what okay. do you do? I, I, I don't think the military is going to give up go, the military. It's very, very difficult. Go ahead. Please go ahead. You need to go ahead. Your co-religion is heckling people. Yeah, no problem. Don't heckle him, please. Don't let Joseph say that we're not going to let him speak. We will let him speak. Thank you. By the way, he's not Jewish. He's a Zionist. Continue, Joseph. I mean, this is the part. Why are you finding him like an excuse? Continue, man. The only place that Jews have any claim to on this earth is Israel. We have no claim to Uganda. We have no claim to New York. We have no claim to, to London. We became a nation in Israel. We existed as a state for almost 1,500 years. We are indigenous to that land. Now, most Jews 
believe because of the persecution that we face, we can no longer live outside of Israel. We need a place of refuge. Okay. There were many Muslims who saved us, there were many Christians who saved us throughout history, but we cannot depend on others to come to our rescue. We need to be able to defend ourselves. Okay. And for that reason, Jews need a state, and the only place on this earth we have a claim to a state is Israel. Now that should not commit the state of, that should not commit the expense of any other people. Okay. Can I want please? We have no problem with the Jewish people living in security under security. I mean, when I say insecurity, it sounds like insecurity, right? So under security. We want the Jewish people to be secure. We, when I say we, I talk for the Muslim civilization. Okay? You can call me a self-appointed uh, spokesperson. No problem. I have no problem with that. But I will try to give you the evidence why I believe so. The Muslim civilization protected the Jewish people for over a thousand years. This is why Zionists cannot make stories up and start claiming that the Jewish people were in danger. They were being brutalized around the world. Therefore, we came and we drove out the Palestinians from their homes. We occupied the land forcefully and started killing their women and children and men and elderly. And uh, because we were being oppressed, we were being driven out from everywhere. We're going to do the same to another people. We're going to go and take all that land. Okay, this logic is the Zionist logic. That's why it's evil. That's why it cannot be supported and celebrated. This is why I equate this ideology with ISIS. They are very similar. Zionists and ISIS are very similar. The only difference is the Zionists are very organized. They have a state. They have Western backing. They have very powerful weapons. ISIS doesn't have that. ISIS doesn't have that, right? ISIS doesn't have the channels. ISIS doesn't have to wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait. No, no, you, no, you're doing the same thing the guy was doing. Yeah. Okay. So let me clarify. We, as Muslims or the Muslim civilization, never had a problem with the Jewish people. As a whole, as a community, as an entity, for over a thousand years, the Jewish people lived in Muslim lands. In fact, some Jewish scholars like Jacob Lesnar, they believe and claim that the majority of the Jewish people were living within the domain of Islam for over a thousand years. Why? Why? Why is, is the question? Because they were protected. They, they were celebrated. They became uh, very prosperous. They worked on their religion. They were conducting business. They were physicians, scientists, philosophers, poets. And they were the top brass of the Muslim community. In fact, some of them were prime ministers to Muslim sultans. One of them was in Spain, Hazda ibn Shabrut, albeit an exception, no doubt, an exception. But we had examples like that. So when we had Jewish people living with us, what changed in the 1940s all of a sudden? What changed? Why did all the Jewish people started to leave from Morocco to Yemen and they started to quickly rush to Israel? Why? Because of what the Zionist movement was doing in the land of Palestine. You see, ISIS, when they started to do atrocities around the world, what happened to the Muslim community around the world? Muslim community became very agitated. We had to come out and explain that these guys, they have nothing to do with us. They don't represent us. We have a civilization to talk about. We have scientists, philosophers, poets, scholars. People have forgotten them, right? So we have to come out and clarify a position because the because the this this ideology called ISIS was committing atrocities. Just like that, the Jewish people became very agitated. They they had a very peaceful situation in the Muslim lands. Suddenly, an extremist group, as uh, an atheistic, secular extremist group called the Zionists, come to power in uh, Palestine and they start committing atrocities. They start killing Palestinians. And then the Muslim masses become very agitated too. So the Jewish people, fearing for their lives, for the first time in the last 1,300 years, for the first time, mass migration of the Jewish people to the land of Palestine. Now show me an example of, I mean, how do I, how do I prove my case? I will ask Joseph. 
Show me an example of Jewish mass migration. Listen to my question carefully. Is everyone listening to me? Is everyone listening to me? My question is very specific. Show me an example of a mass migration of the Jewish people from one land to another land due to Muslim persecution. One example in the last 1,300 years. It only happened in the 1940s. And who did it? The Zionists, not the Muslims. Over to you. Okay, so that was a long time. Nobody interrupted him. Nobody held up him. Hopefully the crowd will give me the same courtesy. I want one person hang up on him. So you went through a few points. I captured them just for if my memory isn't what it used to be. So the, the first thing I'm going to address is the very first thing he brought up, which is that he wants, Adnan wants Jews to live under Islam and be protected by Islam. You literally on camera was, this is what you said. They, you want Jews to live under us in security were the words you used. You want me to respond? Um, no, no, you can respond when it's your turn. But that, that's not true. I didn't say that. Okay. But you make it. Did I okay. say that? You say under security. Everyone yeah. said I didn't say that. Okay. You said explicitly on camera, and we can go back, yeah. that Islam protected Jews and offered the Jews. That doesn't mean that I Islam. want the Jewish people to live under Islam and protect okay, how, protected okay, by so, Islam. Okay, again, I didn't interrupt you. So, and you but said a lot of things. You said almost everything that left your mouth I disagreed with, and I kept my, I bit my tongue. No, so, but, 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 don't misquote me in front of me. Have some okay, courtesy. We can go back and people can watch what was said at the beginning. Maybe I'm slightly mixing up the words you said, but the basic essence was Islam while the Jews were under Islam, were protected, and he wants Jews to go on being protected by Islam, was the basic essence. And from a Jewish perspective, we're like, no thanks mate, we've had your protection before, sometimes it was good, other times you put us to the sword, other times you, you ethnically cleansed us. And I'll give some examples of mass migration, or what we would call ethnic cleansing, so either we were forced out or we fled. I'll okay. give examples of both. Okay. So, my well, turn. Mass Adnan, migration, Adnan, you said you're going to give me examples. Adnan, 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 Adnan. Adnan. Mass migration, Adnan, Adnan, hold your tongue. You'll get a turn to speak. You spoke for a long time. I know you like the sound of your voice, but please let me speak. So, Islamic and Jewish history is one of good caliph protected the Jews, bad caliph persecute, persecuted the Jews. The first people to make Jews wear yellow clothing to single them out, to persecute them, was actually the Abbasids. The Abbasids persecuted Jews. Continue, I'm not going to... Yeah. The, the, the Almohad persecuted Jews. Hundreds of thousands of Jews fled Al-Andalus when the Almohad, and, and North Africa, when the Almohad seized power. And the Jews fled. They're in, in Yemen you had examples, in Iraq you had examples. Omar, Omar himself, ethnically cleansed the Jews of the Hijaz. So Islamic history is one of both good and bad relations with the Jews. Now for, us, for the Jewish people, we appreciated when there was a Christian king like Kashmir in, in Poland, or a Muslim ruler, like where the, the numerous ruler, Islamic rulers that protected the Jews. We are grateful for that. But what we don't want is to be dependent on the whims of whichever caliph is ruling over the caliph, caliphate at that time. Because some of them persecuted us excessively. And so, for the first time in history, Jews have a safe haven. Well, we're not first time in history, for the first time in 2000 years, we have the opportunity to protect ourselves. So historically, if we were persecuted by Muslims, we'd have to either flee to Muslim or Christian countries. Today, we can flee to the Jewish country. And I have complete faith that my brothers in Israel are more likely to protect me than Adnan's brothers in whichever Muslim state we're talking about. Okay. And so, I, yeah. and so, and so, you're done, okay. you're okay. I'm, I'm about to speak, I'm about to speak. Why are you asking? Yeah, yeah. I, you stop it. Okay, I'm about to speak. This liar. Okay, it's finished now. Can I speak? Only la ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, thank you. So now my response. My response. And you Joseph, go ahead Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Joseph, the hell. If I go there, please. I'll see your dentist. Ignore, 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 ignore. Okay, okay. So Joseph, he made uh, many points. What Joseph does in almost every single discussion 
We call it, in debating uh, terms, we call it uh, machine gun tactics. Okay, what happens is you, you, you basically empty a magazine. You empty a magazine on your opponent and expect him to respond to you in three minutes right, with all those bullets he has fired. That's why I'm very meticulous in debates. I like to address topics one by one, systematically. Each and every single point he raised can be shredded, dismantled uh, conclusively. For example, I'll give you a few examples he mentioned. Al Mohats. Why do I believe people like Joseph are spin doctors and they are not sincere? He's disingenuous. I'm saying that to his face. I'm saying that to your face. He's this he's dis because he knows the response. What is the response? Al Mohats, I will tell you, definitely persecuted Muslims, Christians, and Jews. They did not single out the Jewish people. Al Mohads, when they came to power in Spain in the 12th century CE, they persecuted all people in Spain. They went for everyone, right? So what happens? Jewish people, some of them, they start to leave. Now, Joseph tells you half the story, and even that half, partially, not the complete half. Partially, even that half is partial. He focuses on the Jewish people, right? Now, this is why it's so important to know your history, my brothers and sisters, right? So al Mohads, they persecute almost everyone. They are an extremist group. They have been called so in our history. The Muslim historians are writing, these people had lost the plot. They had lost the plot. Just like Muslim scholars today in the world are saying, ISIS have lost the plot. They, are, they don't represent us. They are your product. They are a product of your war you waged on Iraq. And they are a reaction to your, they, they have more in common with you those who are fighting ISIS than us, the Muslim uh, community around the world from Morocco to Bangladesh. So what happened with al Mohads? They come in, they persecute some Jewish people. The Jewish people, they are persecuting, they leave. He's right, they leave. Now when they leave, where do they go? Where do they go? Guess where do they go? No, 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 no. Where do they go? Who knows? Some of them, some of no Morocco, Morocco was South Africa, Africa. Not Morocco was Algeria, under Al Mohad. They went to Egypt. They went to Egypt. Now, who was ruling Egypt? Salahuddin. Salahuddin. Thank you, Joseph. Amazing. Now, amazingly, he knows, he knows the truth. but doesn't mention it. This is what I call <laughs> CNN. Fox News, NBC put yeah. together in one man. No. Okay, <laughs> right? So they deliberately hide this information because it's going to. So what happens to these Jewish people? One of them is their famous rabbi, Musa bin Maimun, Maimonides. He also is one of those Egyptian, uh, Spanish Jews who found refuge in Egypt. Why didn't these Jews go to the north, to the Christian states? Uh, no, they did not. They did not. You don't know. They got banished. They got banished from uh, the English king, Edward I, banished the entire Jewish community. So did the French king, Philip, later on. They drove all the Jewish people. Where did they go? Where did they go? They went to the Muslim lands, right? Now, now, now. So what, what Joseph, people like Joseph do? Okay. And then what happens to Maimonides and people like him in Egypt? Are they given uh, the, the brooms and the brushes to go and clean the streets? You bunch of barbarians, you come from Spain. Actually, because they were so civilized and educated and uh, the elite of the Spanish Muslim society, the Jewish people who were walking around in Islamic dress code with turbans, speaking eloquent Arabic, uttering Arabic poetry, the Jewish rabbis of Spain. What happens to them in Egypt? They are given high posts. In fact, Maimonides himself, who later on lied to the Yemeni Jews about his situation, okay, uh, who himself was a liar, outright liar. Maimonides, Musa bin Maimun, was a liar. Yeah, yeah, I, and and I will show you why he was a liar, okay? There are many, uh, that's another topic in itself. Adnan, they can all watch the debate where I, I absolutely humiliated, humiliated you on that part. Like you are today, no problem. Okay, so, so Maimonides, he went to Egypt and he becomes what? The physician of the Sultan, the brother of Salah Din. He becomes his private personal physician. What kind of persecution is this? It's like uh, some Muslims leave Iraq, okay, as refugees. They come to Britain, 
and then Boris Johnson take uh, Johnson Boris Johnson takes one of them as his private decision. We haven't seen that happen to date. We, that hasn't happened to date. All of these Iraqis and Syrian refugees are being basically, you know, you know what, how they're being treated in all these countries uh, at the borders. What's happening to them in Italy and Greece and Poland and Hungary? Go and see these refugees. See what's happening to them. Okay, Muslims didn't do that to the Jewish people. Okay, wherever they went, right? These Zionists, they have to make up stories for a reason to to substantiate the evil ideology. To argue that Zionists, not the Zionists, sorry, the Jewish people as a whole, their lives are in danger. Therefore, we need the state of Israel. Okay. We need we need to occupy this land and drive out the Palestinians, brutally kill them off. Okay, kill the children and women so that we can be protected. This is a lie. The Jewish people, and then what? Last point. So I want to be fair. I want to be fair. Last point. But because I can you. go on and on and on. Joseph, he threw so many bullets at me that I'm trying to now, you know, deal with them, the, the the fatal ones. You know, the ones that are close to my heart. Okay, the arms, the legs, no problem. I just let them go. Okay. So he jumped from the Abbasids to what? What? He jumped. Yeah, he jumped from Abbasids to what? Do you remember? Are you all listening to Al Mohd? Remember that? Do you remember that? He mentioned the Abbasids and he hopped few centuries forward to Al Mohd. My question is why do Zionists have to do that? Why do they jump from centuries to another century, from a dynasty to another dynasty? And what do they point to? Exceptions where some Jewish people did uh, receive maltreatment. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you where there are cases of Jewish people being maltreated due to political and other circumstances, right? Something happened. But the general pattern of the Muslim civilization towards the Jewish people, he talked about Omar, then he went to the Abbasids, and then he went to al Mohads. This is what they do. If I start doing that about Israel for the last 70 years, Joseph, your hair will become white. You'll become an old man. I think because the list, finish talking, because, my hair will become white. Yeah, they're already white. <laughs> The list of Israel's atrocities against Palestinians are so long that if I start naming every single person who was killed, okay, uh, we won't finish today, right? Okay, how many people have Israel killed I, I, in the last 70 years? Do you know? You, can you finish? You know? The Baha'is have been killed for 200 years, slaughtered by the Muslims, slaughtered by their fanatical Zionists. Let me ask you a question. If no. Are you going to argue for him? I want, I, I would ask, like, I want to ask you one question. If you want to open another debate on the Baha'is, okay. come forward. Okay. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. We'll do, we'll do Baha'i in a minute. We'll okay. Baha we'll, come minute. we'll come to Baha'i. We'll come to Baha'is and any anyone else are, in the list. Are you, are anyone you, else in the list? We'll come to them. No problem. You, you see, all of these, you, all of these things, this propaganda. When I challenge you, when you come and stand next to me, you will see you have no legs to stand on. So are you finished? Okay. So what's really, really rich? is Adnan accused me of machine gun tactics. I literally responded to points he'd made. So he said Muslims had protected Jews. So I gave examples of how they hadn't. He said, like literally, everything you accused me of, you're guilty of. You went all I'm, over I'm going to have to you get to my You ISIS, point my monodies, Egevetemad, al Mohad, about literally, we went all over the shop. All over the houses. Now in, you're in for it, Joseph. And so what I want to do. Now you've done so, it. So just for people's <laughs> reference, just for people's reference, he raised my monodies. And we've had the reason I laughed at when he now raised my monodies. The reason I laughed at when he mentioned my monodies. He gave my monodies as an example of somebody who experienced the benevolence of the Ummah, of the Muslims, who experience the kindness and the protection of the Muslims. When Maimonides is speaking to his own people in the Igere Teman, in a letter to the Yemenite Jews, the Jews of Yemen, he explicitly states that no people have persecuted us as much as this nation. No people. He then, he also said that I, misrepresented history and that when Jews fled Muslims in Spain 
that they fled to other Muslims. I explicitly stated when Jews had no state of their own, when they were persecuted, they had to flee to Christian or Muslim states. It's all on camera. Now, when they... No, you can't. You can wait your turn, sir, and then I can talk to you. But I'm talking to Mr. Rashid at the it's moment. the point you're talking about. I know, but I no one interrupted him except my dear brother here. Um, now I've lost my chain of thought. Thank you. Um, and that's why we don't need to know that I've completely lost my train of thought. So I'll bring it back. The reason why it's important to focus on today and the history is that historically, when Jews were persecuted, we would flee to a land and for a few decades, a few centuries, it might be okay. But then the persecution would increase and the Jews, the Jews were slaughtered. Another anti say might find me. Um, are you finished? No, 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 no continue. Sorry, sorry, continue. I, I apologise. That's very impolite. Sorry. And so, historically, Jews had nowhere to flee. We had no state. So when the Alma had slaughtered us, some of them flew, fled to Northern Europe. Some of them fled into Fustat, Egypt into North Africa, the, the parts that weren't occupied by the Almohads, to Iraq, so the Jews fled all over, but there was no Jewish state. So they couldn't flee to other Jews, they either fled to Christians or the Muslims, who had person laws which discriminated them. What Abdan does not talk about is the condition of those Jews that lived in there. He focuses on the Jews that achieved positions of power, the court Jews, who were very well documented. And the ulema were outraged that these Jews held power in positions of influence and they regularly went up against the different, different caliphs and like rebuked them and, and scolded them for having Jews in positions of authority. But the reason the Jews were in those authorities is exactly for the reason Adnan said. They were skilled in medicine. They were skilled in collecting taxes because they'd done it for the Christians, they'd done it for the Muslims, and they had built up over many years a skill set which benefited these caliphs. It wasn't benevolent for these Jews. Meanwhile, the majority of Jews who lived under these people were persecuted. Do you know that if your synagogue fell into disrepair, you weren't allowed to rebuild it? A Jew was not allowed to rebuild a synagogue if it fell into disrepair in almost every caliphate that stood. Adnan is giving you the, the rose, the, 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 the absolute perfect example of existence of Jews and Muslims. The reality is the opposite. If you want to know how Jews lived under Islam, you don't listen to Adnan, you listen to the Jews who lived in those times. So if you go to the Cairo Geniza, the Cairo Geniza is the most perfect um, record of what it was like to live as a Jew in these times. Okay. Effectively, Every letter, every book, anything that was written was preserved and put in this archive. And it was found in the 19th century, opened up, and we can read from Jews what it was like to live under Islam. And they don't paint the same picture as Adnan. They talk about the persecution, but the tax has been so high. Too many topics. The, the no, no, too many topics. Okay, too let's go back topics. to Israel and ISIS. No, 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 no. And you also, you know this, the minute I, the minute I start talking, he tries, the minute I start defending my case, he tries to shut it down. I'm saying that Jews were persecuted under Islam. He's saying they're not. When I give evidence of this, he says too many let's, topics. Okay, let's, to be fair, to be fair, because Joseph is by, well, sorry, sorry, ma'am, sorry, ma'am, ma you were not speaking when he was talking. Ma'am, you were not speaking when he was talking. I, I know you are upset. I know you are upset. There's a Jewish lady from a Muslim country who's upset and he's shutting her down. Okay. Wait, since we can speak to each other. Can, can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Yes, thank you. Can I speak? We didn't occupy can anything. Can I respond to his point? Anything. We didn't occupy. Okay. We just returned up Let since when Jerusalem was a capital to okay. any Muslim state except the Jerusalem. Can I respond what, what to his you, point? What you can't say. You 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 I just, I just want to go in. I'm not telling her to go quiet. Uh, okay. So you need to tell the lady to be quiet so that I can she, she will be quiet. Two minutes, two minutes, then we'll bring you on camera because you're much better than I am. Okay. Just, just for the record, for everyone who's watching who doesn't know this, this lady is. This lady was born in a Muslim country. Which country? 
I don't know if you'd like me to say. She speaks perfect Arabic. Why not? She's in the in, in the UK. Okay. Yeah, she fled persecution in Islam from when? Islam. When? Oh, yeah. You when? want to speak to her? I want to know. I want to know. Yeah. Are you yeah. want to discuss this lady specifically? We can bring yes, her over. Start discussing her. Okay. Then, yes. What year? What year? Why did she leave? her family had to flee a Muslim country? And when? What happened? They had to what happened? Flee. What happened? What happened? They okay. You. You, when you, when can you I respond? Can you tell the okay. lady to, 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 be, to be silent so that I can respond to your point? Do you want me to respond? Yes, I do. Yeah, so can you ask her to be silent? Like I was telling someone things to be quiet. Okay, I'll finish my, just finish my point. And okay. then we get on to yours. So, so, so no, you're, gonna, you're not going to make any more points because I need to respond to everything you said. Okay, Maimonides. He mentioned Maimonides. Firstly, firstly, a lot of the Jewish uh, migrants to Israel for the last 70 years, they have been brainwashed systematically by the state into hating Islam, Muslims, and the Muslim civilization. You know, if you if you if you go to the just like just like the Shia people, from a very young age, they are conditioned to hate the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, there are many examples, many examples I can give. Okay, when you condition children from a very young age, it's very difficult. To, to get them to realize otherwise, okay? My job here is, as hard as it is, is to clarify what the reality is. Joseph, people like him, I have no respect for him, even though I treat him respectfully, but I'm making oh, a very, that's very I, No, 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 because I believe he's, he's, he's actually, wait, brother, brother, I, I'm not attacking him, am I? I'm not attacking him. I, I don't respect propagandists and liars and disingenuous people. I don't like disingenuous people. I don't like disingenuous people. So let me clarify. Now you're attacking me from the side, don't do that. So Maimonides, Joseph, Joseph, I, what? Are you worried that? Are you worried about? Are you worried about what I'm gonna say? Then be silent, please. Respectfully, please be silent. Okay. Okay. Maimonides. Joseph started with Maimonides. He wrote a letter you to the Yemeni Jews. Not me. You okay. mentioned it. Okay. You no, mentioned no, 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 Maimonides. No. Not me. You no. brought them up. Then, then, then yeah, I responded. And, you. and then you responded with My more. Goodness, then you responded with more partial history. More partial history. And that's why I have to expose you that you, when you tell history, uh, you and your Zionist brothers, when they tell history, they tell history partially. Okay. Some have now realized that the world is not sleeping anymore. There are scholars who will expose us. And now they are coming out slowly. They are Zionist scholars and they are speaking the truth. Bernard Lewis, for example, Zionist, died over 90 years old. Considered to be, please, 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 primary please. sources are Zionist. Please. Primary sources. Okay, so why is this happening, Joseph, when I'm speaking? The land of Zion. I, when I'm speaking, why is this happening? I have you were very upset. When Muslims are hecking you, you were very upset. Yes, yes. 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 So, so, so now, well, 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 just as you can speak to the Muslims, okay. speak to the, the, the lady. Okay, she, she, so, she respect you. so yeah, my respect Maimonides her. was a Jewish rabbi of the topmost uh, status in the Jewish people, among the Jewish people in Spain. And then he migrated to Egypt. He grew up in Egypt. He grew older in Egypt, right? He became the private physician to Sultan. So what happens when, now this is the full story. What happens, the Jewish people of Yemen write a letter to him. About what? About what? That we are about to become Muslims. Are you listening, everyone? Yes. Is everyone listening? Yes. This is the context with which my friend probably doesn't know. And if he knows, then he didn't tell you. And ask him why he didn't tell you this. Just like the Al Mohads. He told you the Jewish people were driven out, didn't tell you where they went. And when I told you where they went and gave you an example, he attacked that example. And he said, I mentioned it. And then when he attacked the example, even then he gave you partial history. He said, Maimonides in a, light, uh, in a letter painted a very grim picture of his experience under Islam. And he's right. Guess what? He's right. This is why I said earlier, right. this is why earlier I said Maimonides, Maimonides was a liar of, the, of top class. For example, let me give you an example. Maimonides, who is he? Who is he? He is, no, Musa bin Maimoon, but who is he serving? 
Who is he serving? Who, who is he serving? Wait, wait, wait. Who is he serving in Egypt? Sorry? He is the private physician of the Sultan. Wait, 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 wait. He was the private physician of the Sultan. His private doctor. Now, a private doctor for the Sultan, do you think is that uh, a low position or it's a high position in the state? High or low? High or low? Private physician to the Sultan. You have the ear of the Sultan. You can tell him what you want. You can get him to do what you want, right? Now, Maimonides, when he receives a letter from Yemeni Jews, what are they asking him? Because he's an authority among the Jewish people. They ask him, we are considering converting to Islam the Jewish community of Yemen. Why? Because these prophecies in the Old Testament, they list them down. Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. Uh, Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 33.2. Okay? Then other prophecies in the Old Testament. A list. They present this list to Maimonides and they ask him, Oh Rabbi, what is our response to the Muslims on these prophecies? Because they are claiming that Muhammad, their prophet, the Arabian prophet, is foretold in these passages. And we are on the verge of converting to Islam. And some of them are learned Jews in Yemen. So they write to the most learned man in the Jewish world, Maimonides. So what does Maimonides do? In response, now he's a Jewish rabbi. He's the shepherd of the flock. What do you think he's going to do in the letter? Is he going to tell them, go ahead, very well done, go and convert to Islam? Or is he going to dissuade them? Which one is it? Which one is it? If some Muslims come to me, I'm, 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 I'm my example, person. I'm no Maimonides, no Imam, no scholar. If they come to me, 10 Muslims here, and they say, you know what, we're having doubts. We want to convert to Christianity. They have shown us how true Christianity is, for example. What am I going to do? As a Muslim die, as a Muslim propagandist, let's say. If he wants to call me that, okay? <laughs> I'll do it for him. Right? What do you expect me to do? Tell them, well done, go ahead, baptize yourselves and become Christians. Or I'm going to dissuade them. I'm going to dissuade them. Maimonides to dissuade this Jewish community of Yemen, he tells them all lies. We suffered under these people. They are the worst people in the world. They put, and while he's, when is he writing this? While he is the private physician to the Sultan. He's a private doctor to the Sultan, he's writing this. And then he responds to these passages. All co complete spins. Just a quick question, and you don't need to go further. Have you read the letter in detail? All of it. All of it. Have you read his responses to the passages of the Old Testament? Yes, I've yes? read the letter. Yes. So he knows about the letter. And he knows why it was written. It was written to dissuade the Jewish community of Yemen from Islam. And for that reason, he did a good job, but he was a liar. He lied to his people. He misrepresented the situation. Now, now to Cairo Geniza, the Cairo Geniza record. Amazingly, Joseph, I'm sure he doesn't know who studied it. He doesn't know. He mentioned it. Sheikh is the main. Who? Sheikh, Rabbi Sheikh is the main guy. No, academically, but who yes, published? Yes, it's Sultan Sheikh. S.D. Goiton. Yes, Goiton another uh, No, no, no. Goiton, Goiton is the one who published them from the University of Pennsylvania, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I have the entire set in my private library. You, Before you, you know. Okay, wait, set. wait, 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 wait. Have you, have you, yeah, have you? There's literally thousands and thousands of fragments, and that, uh, to this day they're still being translated. So when he tells you he's got the set, there is no set. He's lying. Okay, are you done? Yes. Which set am I talking about? I don't. You, you said you've got the entire set so, of the no, Cairo Geniza. No, no. <laughs> He doesn't know what set I'm talking about and he's calling me a liar. So this is what you call a liar, okay? When you don't know what you're doing and then you start accusing What set am I talking about? You told me. You said I, you I, I just mentioned, you don't know. That's what the, I just mentioned the name, S.D. Goiton. Do you know the name? Yes. Okay. So do you know what set I'm talking about now? Do you, do you know what set I'm talking about? Tell me, tell me. So you don't know. Say I don't know. Tell me. Okay, so don't mention things. You haven't even know. looked. Literally, okay, wait, wait, I don't wait. know what you're talking okay. about. So. Exactly. That's my point. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the set. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the set. Okay, you would know what I'm talking about if you knew what I'm talking about. Tell me. Because you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so by that virtue, Joseph, he likes to throw things thinking Muslims, these ignorant, jail Muslims, they don't know their history, right? S.T. Goitin is a Zionist scholar who studied 
the Cairo Geniza records found in Cairo, in Egypt. Okay, and he did a commentary, a partial commentary, and he published six volumes, if I'm not mistaken, in yellow bindings. I have them at home in my personal library. Okay, so Joseph doesn't know what he's talking about. And firstly, why would we accept the study of a Zionist scholar on a record which was found in a Muslim country and it hasn't been studied by other academics today? Why would we? Why, if, if an ISIS scholar comes to me, Abu Bakr Baghdadi, let's say, he sanctions the study, he patronizes the study, go and study a record, and these ISIS people publish this record with flashy volumes, flashy titles. Am I to believe that? No, no. To us, to us, anything these Zionist interpretation. No, it's not for a long time. Okay, okay. 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 Now, 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 now. So the point is, ladies and gentlemen, he mentions exceptions from the Muslim man. I am going to now. He said, "Do you remember what he said? That speak to the Jewish people who lived under Islam." Yes. Yes. yes? Did he say that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To know the persecution. Yes. I'm going to now quote some Jewish people who lived under Islam. Rabbis. And that can okay. be Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's what after you. You have a Jewish they are living in Morocco, my friend. There is no, no problem no, no, at all. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, he knows that. I have some crazy they stuff. They are living like a... Man, man. Well, while he's looking this up, no, I'm not looking this up. Yeah, you I'm reading it right now. Yeah. I'm reading it right now. So, wait, 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 wait. My time. Excuse me. My time. My time. Yeah, I mean, you have spoken my for time. a long my time. time. I thought, like, literally, I had a full head of hair before. In 1420. In 1420, Rabbi Yitzhak. Sir, Rabbi Yitzhak Safati wrote a letter to his persecuted German brothers from the Ottoman Turkish territory. Who Listen now. Guy? I've never heard of him. He's a rabbi. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm quoting him. He's not a major wait, figure, is wait, he? Wait, 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 wait. Is he a fringe uh, figure? He's a rabbi. He's a random person. He's a, he's a from rabbi. Random he's a rabbi. From okay, he's a rabbi. I know it's going to hurt you. It's antiseptic. You know what antiseptic is? Finish antiseptic. Okay, finish what okay. you say. What you're going to hear now is going to shock you, not him, because he knows a lot of this stuff. That's why I call him Fox News, NBC, CNN put together. Okay? Rabbi wrote to his, uh, writes to his brothers in Germany who are being persecuted by German authorities, Jewish people, in 1420. He writes, inviting them to join him in prosperous and tolerant Islamic lands. What is it? And I quote, this is what Rabbi wrote, Your cries and laments have reached us. We have been told of all the sorrows and persecutions which you suffer in German lands. Listen, my brothers, if you knew even the tenth of what God has blessed us with in this land, you would give heed to no further difficulties. You would embark at once to us. Here the Jew is not compelled. Here the Jew. You don't like it, do you? You don't like it. Do you want to hear it? This is one of your rabbis talking. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. Here the Jew is not compelled to wear a yellow hat. You remember yellow clothes and yellow hat? So, so Joseph. That's why. Hence, NBC, Fox, CNN put together, right? Either he doesn't know this stuff, and if he knows this stuff, then he's an outclass liar. Okay, here the Jew is not compelled to wear a yellow hat as a badge of shame. You will be free of your enemies. Here you will find peace, Rabbi Yitzhak. Okay, move on. Move on. Oh, no, 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 no,
Andrew and Joseph, they're not, they're not allowing me to speak. They, will not, they don't like this information. The problem is in the information. It's not what I'm saying. The problem is in the information. Is, is because, because this guy is being exposed. They don't like that. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Have, have the courtesy. One more question. Allow me my freedom of speech. Allow me my freedom of speech. The Italian rabbi, an Italian rabbi, Obadia Yare. Who is who are you quoting? To bring the who are you quoting? Can I finish? Everything for you is rabbi. I quoted sources in a previous debate with Joseph. I quoted sources in a previous debate with Joseph, and Joseph challenged me on Twitter. Joseph went on a victory parade on Twitter, and he said. Adnan Rashid is quoting sources that don't exist and he is he's, he's claiming things that don't exist so he's a liar on Twitter really he's going okay. to do it now so well. what happens he triggers Adnan Rashid which is myself so I go on my Twitter I take all those quotes and I start posting them Joseph goes dumbstruck completely <laughs> silent gone and then when he comes back, he comes up with such lame things that people are actually laughing at him. So what the hell is wrong with you people? Why can't you see black and white and admit it? If someone shows you the sun, why can't? So now, now I'm going to do the same thing today. Joseph is trying to discredit these sources. I'm quoting rabbis, rabbis, learned Jewish men living in these lands. So Italian rabbi Obadia Yare da Bertinoro traveled to Jerusalem in 1486 wrote a letter to his father telling him about the country and his people. A rabbi traveling through Jerusalem in the 15th century when it's being ruled by who? The Muslims, right? The Jews are not persecuted by the Arabs in these parts. I'm quoting. I have, I have traveled through the country in its length and breadth and none of them has put an obstacle in my way. They are very kind to me. Wait, they are very kind to me. What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? Well, I'm not debating you. I'm not debating you. Why are you so triggered? Why are you so triggered? Am I? I'm not debating you, am I? Why do I have to respond to you? I'm not. You're from the crowd. I'm not debating the crowd. I cannot debate all these people. I am only. I am only talking to one person. That's why I request from you that if you want to talk to me, you will definitely be given a chance. We'll talk to you. So let me let me finish my point, please. Let me please speak. Because you're you're actually. Why are you suppressing my voice? Why do you not want me to speak? Why is it so painful? This is when Joseph was being heckled, he had a problem with it. He came straight to me, oh now I start speaking and these Muslims are heckling me. I told those Muslims to stop. You are all witnesses. Joseph for some reason is not talking to the lady. Can you tell her to be quiet? Please be quiet. Please be quiet. Let me just finish. Let me finish. And then we'll bring it back to Israel today, which is what she's asking for. Yeah. So I'm going to respond to you, just for the benefit of the camera. He's all of his sources. I'm going to bring my sources, and then we're going to back, going to go back to what the debate's supposed to be about, which is Israel. Okay. Every time he goes okay. to the same talking point. Okay. We've literally had this debate what, five what, times. What am I doing this? What, why am because I doing this? Because you've got the same talking point. You've got can nothing you else to, to say. Can you tell the lady to be quiet? She okay. has been quiet. Okay. She's not talking. I will, I will not speak until she goes quiet. I will not speak. She's not talking. But she's talking. But she's talking to someone else. No, no, I, I can't. I can't do this. I, I can't stop someone talking to someone else. No, you are asking I, me to do it to Muslims. No, he's talking no, to me. No, you are asking me to do it to Muslims. So someone was okay, and when the other Jewish fight. lady screaming at me, the guy was me, asking me for a her. fight on screen. Okay, slightly let, different than someone talking let, to someone else. Over there. Zionists cannot suppress our voices. Literally, I don't. No one is suppressing your voice. You haven't shut okay. up, mate. Okay. So now. Coming back to why am I reading these quotes? Who is going to tell me why am I reading these quotes? Because Joseph himself, during his time, said, let's go to the Jewish people and talk to them. 
ask them how they lived under Islam and what they felt about it. I'm responding directly to one of the points he raised, which is a fair point. So here a Jewish rabbi saying that they are very kind to strangers, particularly brother, brother, take the lady away, take the lady away, please, and talk to me. brother, brother, brother. I'm trying to read. Sorry, sorry. This lady has, she's been trying to disrupt the debate for a long time. So, so don't speak, don't engage with her, please. Don't engage with her. The way they they are very kind to strangers particularly to anyone who does not know the language and if they see many Jews together they are not annoyed by it in my opinion an intelligent man versed in political science might easily raise himself to be a chief of the Jews as well as of the Arabs among them okay you you stop there. no on, one more literally one more. One, more. One, more. one more I haven't spoke for half an hour one more one more, I, one more. Is so, this the Adnan so, show or is it so, debate? Wait, 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 are we debating no, or are you talking to yourself? Just finish it right now. One more quote. This is ridiculous. No, 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 wait. So now what Joseph might do, he might come back, okay? And he might say, so he might say that these are exceptional, exceptional uh, testimonies and these Jewish rabbis, they had their personal experiences. They don't represent the overwhelming majority of the Jewish people and their views, okay? For that, for that, what do we do? We go to secondary sources, modern scholarship, recent scholars who have studied all of these primary sources, primary testimonies of the Jewish people, and these Jewish scholars will tell you what happened to the Jewish people in these times, and they will give you the general picture, Adnan. not Zionists. Adnan. Not Zionists. Not Zionist. Secondary sources. It's wait. my turn to speak. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Stop me. Not, I am going to stop you. It's okay. my okay. turn to speak. Uh, if you are, uh, okay, okay, wait. Like, literally, you've been on 20 minutes, okay. mate. Because I've been, I'm being interrupted. I, yeah, I could have finished. Yeah, I could have <laughs> finished. I'm and being interrupted. Adnan, I'm going to walk away unless you shut up, mate. This is ridiculous. Okay, if you want to walk away, no problem. This is ridiculous. This I'm going to have to finish. Don't throw, don't throw stones at me this and expect ridiculous. me to take it. No, I'm, I'm going to throw back rocks. I spoke three to five minutes ago. <laughs> wait, 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 it's very painful. This but, is, it's uh, painful for everyone it's else. Very you painful. haven't okay. shut okay. up. Okay. You have let me, not let me finish. Up. If you let me finish, I would have finished. Finish, back. please, yeah. finish. That's all we yeah. want you oh to do, mate. Finish, no. finish your finish. course. Finish, finish, your, finish. Finish your course of squeezing me. Finish, finish your course of squeezing me. Okay. So Zion Zohar, a Jewish scholar from the U.S., a recent scholar. I read some primary sources to you, rabbis and their testimonies. Why did I read them? So that you you can actually hear it from the horse's mouth, as they say. Yeah eyewitnesses who saw and they described but then people like this Zionist propagandists they come back and say, oh these are exceptional testimonies they don't matter the overwhelming experience of the Jewish people the norm you know the the norm wasn't this these are exceptions no no so the norm for the norm we have a rule in academia we go to secondary sources we go to modern scholars who have studied these ideas these quotes and then they give the conclusions they give the conclusions they tell you what was the norm this was the norm. Zion Zohar, a Jewish historian, he's not a Muslim historian, a Jewish historian. He writes, he writes in his book titled A History of Sephardic and Mitzurai Jewry. On page number eight and nine, he states, thus, when Muslims crossed the Straits of Gibraltar from North Africa in 711 CE and invaded the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain, Jews welcomed them as liberators from Christian persecution, born during this era of Islamic rule, the famous golden age of Spanish Jewry, circa 900 to 1200, 300 years. A Jewish historian is saying these 300 years, there were, or this was the golden age of the Jewish people. This produced such luminaries as statesmen and diplomats, Hazda Ibn Chaprut. Light, Vizier light. and army commander Shmuel light, light. Hanagid or Samuel Hanagid, poet philosophers like light. Solomon Ibn Gabriel and Judah Halavi. And at the, at the apex of all of them was Moses bin Maimoun, also known among the Spaniards as Maimonides. Okay, I will stop here because now Joseph, before he has a heart attack, uh, listening to all this, uh, I will stop and I will let him respond. And when he finishes, I will come back with more medicine.
this time this will be surgery okay what i just gave you was the an anesthesia right <laughs> yeah, it definitely but, put but, everyone but, to sleep but, 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 but when i come back will be the surgery itself okay, okay. so adnan was very gracious in admitting that he put everyone to sleep with his two hour diatribe every sign is to so, sleep yeah so what i'm going to do for everyone's sake I'm going to race through a few quotes from the Cairo Geniza. I'm going to race through a few Islamic quotes. I'm going to race through a few examples of what it was actually like to live as a Jew under Islam so back then. Can we and time it now? Atlan, stop, stop talking, mate! How, how long? Mate, stop talking. Yes, well, you have about three minutes. Let's, let's do three minutes, three minutes. No, we're Otherwise, not doing we're three minutes. minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. no problem. Atlan, you give me five minutes, then three minutes. No, three minutes. we're doing 20 minutes of me because you just spoke for half an hour, well, and then we can go three minutes. No, 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 no. No, no, wait, wait. And then, and then, stop. Wait, 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 Shut wait, wait. No, no, I'm not shutting up. Stop. Five minutes. No, five minutes for him. And then three minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Because like this, we're going to continue for hours upon hours. Look at the count. Everyone in the comments. 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 I want you. Everyone in the comments. I. Everyone in the comments. I want you to watch back. If you're watching this, start timing how long he spoke for and how long I spoke for, and then listen to the audacity of this clown say that I'm going to speak for five minutes after you've just spoke for 20 minutes and bought everyone. Let, let people, the entire crowd has changed because let, you let spoke people for so decide long. who's a clown here. Let people yeah, decide. Please. So now what we're going to do? We're going to you're calling me a clown. Doesn't make me a clown, does it? I'm the Adnan, one coming out with Adnan. I'm Adnan, the one coming Adnan, out of the process. Shut up, man. Five minutes. Adnan, shut five up. Minutes. Stop five talking. Five minutes. Five minutes. Stop talking. We're going we're gonna to moderate Adnan, today. Five minutes. 20, 20, Adnan, 20, five minutes. 20, 20. No, it's not talking. I'll stop talking when I want to stop Five minutes? No, I'll stop talking when I want to stop No, okay. Just like you. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Just like you. This, this, this is a cry, baby. So he's going to go later on and cry about it. So I'm going to let him go on. I'm going to let him go on. And then next time we're going to do three minutes. Fine. Is that fine? Go on, cry, baby. Notice how this lady will not talk now when he talks. Notice how she will go quiet. Notice how she will go quiet. Notice how she will go quiet. I feel sorry for Adnan's wives. I really do. I really do. I'm sure you have a whole hurry. Um, I, I feel sorry. You think I have him? I'm sure you do. I feel sorry for each and every one of them because my goodness, they need to have good ears to listen because you do not stop talking. You're 20 minutes. Stop even, even when you're a, you're 20 minutes. If you have 20 minutes to talk, no problem. He can't even let me speak. I can't even make a joke about his wife. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, you're starting now. Are you going to talk now? Yes. I'm talking the lady. I'm talking. By the way, I'm I'm asking this lady not, behind the cameras who's been making noise. Me. Who's I'm been making noise why. when I was speaking, right? Yes. Now watch. She will not speak now for 20 minutes. She will not speak. If he speaks, no, that sounds my time, and he's been more time speaking than me. Go on. Let's see. Some okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Continue speaking, please. Let's see what he says. Can, sir, can you same. continue speaking in his time? Can you make that noise you were making at my time? Some examples of what it was actually like to live as an ordinary Jew, not from some cherry pick examples of history that back up his argument, which actually misrepresent what the text says. It's amazing when you go to the text, he will say things like, it was the. the that they said though that must that what was the like, word you used precisely? Something like the Jews that said it was beautiful to live under I can't even remember the words how the protection that they offered. And when I went to the sources, it wasn't talking about Muslims, it was talking about Gentiles, non-Jews in general. But anyway, I'm gonna to get to the actual Not history. my time, so I will okay, respond. Okay. I will respond. So here's some examples of the quotes from the Geniza. And um, this is from the Cairo Geniza. This is uh, um, so let's go. A man from Alexandria was forced to flee from the city because he was unable to pay the jizya for his young boy. He implored Abraham ibn Moshe Maimon, one of the descendants of Maimonides, uh, the son of Maimonides, sorry, um, for help. Jo Joseph. I have Adnan, sorry, let sorry, me sorry, speak. Sorry, sorry. Adnan. I, I have a question. Oh, I have a quick question. Please, no, Adnan. why is she not speaking now? Adnan, behave yourself. She is yourself. speaking now. Behave Stop yourself. touching me, Adnan. I'm not your wife. Stop manhandling me. It's, it's halal for Muslim men to touch other, <laughs> other human beings. I don't like it when you wife. stroke my arm. I don't like it. Mommy will smack you soon. I'm going to touch you with a cold bottle. <laughs> with your miswa. 
Um, a man from Alexandria was forced to flee from the city because he was unable to play the jizya for his young boy. He implored Abraham ibn Moshe Maimon, Maimonides' son, for help, um, stating that he had been unsuccessful in obtaining any work, although he was willing to work for only one silver dirham daily as a wage. So a man was forced to flee because he couldn't pay the tax. One man. Umar II forbade the dimmer to enter a bathhouse on Friday. Oh, actually, that's, that's I'll come back to those. 15,000 gold coins, and uh, this is so uh, charging the community in Jerusalem, I believe. 15,000 gold coins, until after that, some 6,000 fell on the Jews of Jerusalem. And we gave them 2,500 gold coins until we were out of everything we had. Empty, naked, sad, and poor. Nothing remained to a man in his house. Even the dress for himself, houseware, some of us mortgaged their houses with interest in order to pay, and some of them sold them completely. Many does this, many, many of this does their suffering. Another one from the Geniza. The condition in Jerusalem is torturous and breaks everybody, and the burden is too heavy to bear. The tax of captivity and the compulsion of the ledgers, which is worse than anything. Literally, Adnan will tell you that it was great living as a Jew. When you read what the communities in Jerusalem, when you read what the communities in Pusta, when you read what the communities in all of these places were saying, when it's recorded in their Geniza, in the Geniza, he claims to have. Is the time, is the time there? Adnan! No, no, not that time. The, the chronology of so, these Yes, that was 1029, so this is all there, the 11th century. All from the 11th century? No, some of the... That, those, so can, some, you, can you give me the chronology yeah, as well? So, yeah, those... those that's last very years. relevant to our debate. Yes, yes. Chronology. Yes. When so, are these quotes, actually, Kaira Geniza so, Documents from 1000 so, so Maimonides was the 13th century. So his son, that was the, the 1200s. The one, the, the last two I read were the 11th century. So we've just got two centuries of the time that Adnan is saying is the golden era for Muslim, for Jews, or just immediately after that. He said, this is Salahuddin. This is the time of Salahuddin and his descendants. This is in Pusta. This is in Alexandria. This is in Egypt. So, so to go on, to go on. So what Adnan doesn't mention is what it was actually like to live as a Jew. So now I'm going to go to Muslim sources. Muslim sources. So, when it comes to synagogues, we will neither erect... Which, which Muslim source? So this is the Pact of Omar and then all the, the scholars afterwards <laughs> on the Pact of Omar. And what was it, Tabari in various places, uh, the various uh, people. Okay, well, Adnan! No, 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 no you, uh, you, I didn't interrupt you. You asked, you asked me about the rabbis. Remember, remember when I was I just asked the, who was, I yeah, think you yeah, yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, asking I'm not stopping you, okay. I'm not interjecting. I'm asking for you to clarify okay, I will, what, what so this is, the, this yeah. is the pact. this is the Pact of Omar and then we'll go to... Which is a forgery. Okay, so um, it's a forgery by okay, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. So read it, read it, no problem. I just want to clarify for everyone, it's a forgery. It was a forgery, forgery which forgery. almost every caliphate enforced. So Adnan today, in Speaker's Corner, is saying it's a forgery, yet almost every caliphate, You're going to have to prove caliphate, that. You're going to have to prove that every caliphate. Uh, I said almost, almost every, almost every caliphate. Every, caliphate. Uh, e -E -R -Y, with capitals. Every caliphate. Okay. Adnan. So, now you're going to have to show us why. Adnan. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Your time, your time. I'm waiting. Every now. Adnan. I want to see every. Adnan, stop talking. It's not so, your turn. So it's not every, right? Clearly, it's not every. I know, have you, have you noticed how terrified he is of letting it I am speak? so terrified that I want to I wanna hear Adnan, how about every talking. Every talking. Stop stop talking. talking. I'm waiting, 20 minutes more. We 20, will need every caliphate. Adnan, you had your turn. I'm not your wife. You don't rule over me. It's my turn to speak. I and don't you're going rule, to be quiet. I don't rule over my wife. I don't rule over my wife. We will She's not my slave. You know thanks all about Allah, thanks you to know Islam. all about thanks slavery. To Islam. You know all thanks about slavery. Islam. You want to talk about what happens? We what will happens, neither erect. Happens, we will neither that? erect. You want to talk about what? We will neither erect in areas. Okay, this is Omar the second, not Omar the first. I'll just get. So basically, the Pact of Omar says that Jews and Christians can't read their build, rebuild their buildings if they fall into disrepair. Adnan thinks it's a forgery. That's fine. Adnan's entitled to his opinion. I will quote scholarship. Abu Yusuf. Who is Abu Yusuf? Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. I know who he is. I, I know you know who he is. So who's, you tell me who is Abu Yusuf. I told you my monodies, right? So I told you my monodies. I quote the source and I give you an introduction. Who is Abu Yusuf? Every 
Who is the producer? This is this is Fox News, NBC, and CNN put together. Really from Google. Adnan, Adnan, Adnan. Abu Yusuf. Adnan, let me speak. Abu Yusuf. Have you noticed? Notice how he spoke for an hour and I didn't interrupt him. Every time I make a comment, he heckles. He talks. Adnan, let me speak. So. Under Islam, under most of the caliphates, Jews were not allowed to rebuild their synagogues. I'm now going to bring examples from history of that. Yeah? So, this is Umar II. This is her 8th century. Do not destroy any Jewish or Christian house of worship. Did you hear that? Yeah. Adnan, stop talking, mate! I did not interrupt you. We got to talk Not about Not even centuries of fire worship. Why are you so quiet? If they you look so beautiful when you're quiet. <laughs> you look so beautiful Adnan, when you're Adnan, quiet. I wish you farewell, mate. I'm not going to do it. Sorry, sorry, continue. No, Jamsen, let Adnan answer me, please. Let him answer me. I've figured it out. Yeah, give me a minute from your time. Okay. He did not answer. I want to ask when no, was I wanted to continue. Jerusalem. You answer me. I will answer. Adnan. I will answer. When was Jerusalem the capital I... to any Arab country except to the Jewish people? When was Jerusalem? It's a capital yeah. of any Arab country except to the Jewish people. I will answer the question later. On. Answer, well, no, no, it, it's, it's, because this is no, time. You to because, the... Do you want me to answer her? Yes, um, yes, answer. Just because then I think she'll stop. Uh, she'll let us speak. So just like okay, Jerusalem, yeah, just Jerusalem has so been. Day. Okay. When you say a capital, yes, you capital. mean a capital of a Muslim dynasty? Yeah, it was a, yeah. Okay. It was a, um, the Khalifa, we, we, it was a we, Rashidin, we, 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 um, we yeah. gain, we, everybody. We, we've had many Palestinian dynasties. Was that the do with the Palestinian novel was a state I, for can I, No, you're not like letting me answer the question. No, I want to answer you when you mislead people. <laughs> I'm your you say Palestinian. <laughs> Can I answer the question? Say, okay, answer me. Okay, One I answer way, me. Palestinian state, who was the last president? Who was, the, who was the last president of what? It's a Palestinian state you're talking about. When was Palestinian sovereignty? Never. 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 Okay. So can I answer? I will, I, will, I will ask you to read a book written by a Jewish scholar. I don't want to read. I cannot read. I want you to answer me. Okay. Answer I will give you two. I will, I'm answering. Can I? Can you let me finish? Fadal, fadal. Can you? Fadal. So let me. Yeah. 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 You're saying Fadal, but you're not letting me. You know? No, no, yeah. I get yeah. Quiet. Okay. I will invite you to read two books. Okay? Two books. The answer is there. History of Jerusalem by Karen Armstrong. Uh, yeah, let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Karen Armstrong, History of Jerusalem. And another by a Jewish scholar, History of Palestine by a Jewish scholar. Okay, it's published by Cambridge University Press and it covers the entire Islamic period. Okay, you will see the importance Palestine in Have you general. Read those books? If you read him, please, please enlighten me. Okay, please. Please enlighten me about the last president of Palestine, so called Palestine. Answer. I, I, I don't I don't accept I don't accept this leadership to be proper leadership. Why? Of the Palestinians. Yeah. Oh, you don't accept yeah, they're, they're not no sincere with the people. Continue. Okay. So okay. Back now there. let me finish as well. <laughs> I have to finish. Because I like Debate to speak. Them. I want you to enlighten me. You read Oxford. You want to be enlightened? What? You want to be enlightened? No, no. I, I know a lot of things. Bring her. But, I want but do you to want me to enlighten you? To then you, you have to let me enlighten you. No, I want. I don't well, want you to. Well, you shut up and let them listen. answer. No, 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 don't be rude. I want you to answer She's my question. We have to respect. Are you talking about us occupier? When you was the Muslim come from Algeria, you, you occupied the Middle East. You called it for too hard. Your occupation is right. too hard. Yeah, we right. return to our land and let the Kataballah Hulana. It's the Lord of the Kataballah Hulana. It's ours. Okay. So don't talk Who about you, Zionism. Man, just be some okay. shit. It's ours. Okay, no problem. So Thank you. I will let you speak now. You said what you Sat wanted. Down. Thank you. Sat Thank down. you. Let him ask Over to you, that. Joseph. Your, your 30, 40 minutes, go on. The timer, the timer has gone. Our timer has run away. Our moderate, where is mo the moderator? The moderator has given up. Okay, Joseph, 
It's recording. The sound is working. I can see it. Leave it alone and come in. Finish your go. Because you're running out of evidence. I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. You only got one or two lines left now. I've got loads. No problem. Google. Google lines. Adnan. I'm going to speak now. Adnan tries to present. Adnan tries to present a history of Jews under Islam, where Jews occupy, occupied high positions. They were protected people, and they did not suffer persecution. That is a lie. And he knows it's a lie because he's read the sources I'm about to bring. I know you've read the Bible. I know you've read the Bible many times because you've quoted it to me. So, I'm waiting. So, this is the Bible. So he mentioned a rabbi who nobody's heard of saying that Jews didn't have to wear distinctive clothing under the Ottomans in that year. This is now Tabari. Okay. And this is in the year 853. Please do quote. But I was talking about the 15th century. When did Tabari live? So you don't know. I don't know. So, so how is Adnan, Adnan, can I just can I make a I want you to read Joseph, I want you to read. Let me but how is Tabari relevant to my quote? My quote is from the 15th century. Yeah, later after the Tabari, yeah? How, how, Much later. how many years? I'd imagine uh, maybe uh, 1500, 600 years? More than that. More, 700 years. More, more than that. Sorry? Okay. 700 years. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, Tabari would have been eight months. Tab Tabari was alive in the, t uh, in the, in the 10th century. Tabari was alive in the 10th century. And we're talking about 500 years. So, so, you're making something relevant. You said it was the 15th century. Yeah. 500 years. So between Tabari and the court. Years. Yeah, between Tabari That's and the court, I read. 15 yeah. means 1400. Yeah. Okay, so 400 years. Right. Um, in this year, Al Mutawakil ordered, this is the year 853, that the dimmer, the dimmies, affix two yellow sleeves to their outer clothes. So, one of the first people to make Jews wear distinctive clothing wasn't the Nazis with the yellow star, it was the Abbasids with the yellow sleeve. In this, and this is still Tabari, and this is now the year 853. In this year, same as the same color, al Mutawakil ordered that churches and synagogues newly built under Islam be destroyed. So he, the color, declared that Jewish synagogues should be destroyed. In, again, this is in the year 1419. 1493, oh, sorry, 853, sorry, still first, so the pages, the pages 1419, sorry. Um, he ordered that they restrict their, them, so that Jews restrict their mounts to mules and donkeys and avoid riding pack horses. So, under the Abbasids, Jews weren't even allowed to ride horses. They had to humble themselves and ride donkeys. Um, employ this is a really interesting thing. Adnan talks about how Jews had these grand positions in Muslim society. What he misses out is why. First, they were the only ones that could do that. And the huge opposition that came from the scholars, from the ulema, to that. So I'm now going to read it from, uh, again. Um, this is now from a modern historian. Moshe Gil, Harun al Yashid, Rashid, Al Mamun, and um, Muqtadir ruled that Jews, Christians, should not be employed in public office except for physicians and money changers. So I'm going to continue. So. Okay, no problem. Have your time. Have your time because my surgery is coming. <laughs> before the effects of anesthesia fade away, I want to I want to do my surgery before you wake up. Ibn Hubeira, who was the vizier to I actually really love this one. This is really, really interesting. He loves this one. All agree that no new synagogues or churches should be built in Islamic countries, in cities either open or fortified. Opinion is divided over whether it's permissible to build a new house of worship near the city. Please, please, please. You're disturbing the debate, brother. Malik, Shafi and Hanbali 
had said that it's too forbidden, but Hanafi said that if the place is near the city, you don't know what these things are. Yes, that there's a format up. Okay. What what is what is the name? Um, so I just said Hanafi. Hanafi. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait. Don't look. Tell me which four food. What are the names of those things? What is this? Can you I, don't, you I don't know. You, you, okay, can you can you let, let the camera see what you're reading from? Let them see. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a bunch of quotes that I put together in Excel. Yeah, it's a bunch of lines without context. Joseph does not have a clue. He, he, what he has done, he has collected, he has collected Adnan, this information. Adnan, yeah. stop talking. You asked me what they were. I said they're the four matters, yeah? And I said there's, uni there's, consensus, Continue. Continue. there's consensus amongst them Continue, that Joseph. a Jew, I, I don't need your permission, Adnan, that a Jew cannot build their house of worship and cannot build a new house of okay. worship under Islam. So what Adnan wants to do, he wants to present a history where Jews and Muslims are equal. When you read what it was actually like, so he said in the 15th century what it was like to live as a Jew under the Muslims in Israel. What he misses out in 1517, just a few years later, the entire community of Hebron was massacred. The Jewish community. The Jewish community of Jaffa was massacred. So Adnan Cherry picks his quote. And what you'll notice was this happens every time we talk. This conversation started with Zionism. I challenged Adnan to a debate about Zionism, Zionism. And what he does every time is we have him the same old quote, same old talk. Each time we talk, I bring different quotes. You bring the same old played out quotes, which you misquote, you misrepresent, you've never read Let the primary people sources. Decide. You've never read the primary sources. Okay because you misrepresent them. If he would, he brings sources which actually ridicule Islam and he brings them a proof of supporting and worshipping Islam. Okay, can so, I now? No, no, you can't. So I want to bring it back to what the debate actually started about, and that is Israel-Palestine. And Adnan made a disgraceful and shameful comparison between the modern state of Israel and ISIS. Now I'm going to rip that apart. a very good comparison. I'm going to rip that apart. Israel. No, 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 wait. Is, no, let, let me deal no, with history. No, we're going to come to Israel. Not, not, no, 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 let me deal with I history. I literally said when I started so my I'm going to speak for an half an hour. You can speak for as long as you want. No, no, I'm going to speak. No problem. Good. Good. That's it. Surgery will be prolonged. <laughs> fine. I can't fine. Fine. Adnan made the disgusting comparison to the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq and the Jewish state of Israel and Israel yes Israel just as Islamic as that state is as Jewish as Adnan stop Israel is a secular democracy there are two million Arabs that live there they have complete equality with the Jews so much so so much so there is an Islamic political party that is in the government today they are in government there are, there are Arab judges who sent Jewish prime ministers and presidents to jail. The best performing religious group in Israel in education aren't religious Jews, it's Arab Christians. Adnan wants to paint a picture where this beacon of democracy and equality in the Middle East is comparison is comparable to his co-religionists who enslave Yazidi women and rape and murder them, who behead people of other, even Muslims who have a slightly different interpretation of Islam. They burn them, behead them. They just made my point. They slaughtered hundreds of thousands of their own fellow Muslims and fellow non-Muslims who were living They're helping in in comparison, in comparison, Israel goes to incredible lengths to preserve the lives of Palestinian civilians. It treats Palestinians in its hospitals. It helps with the infrastructure. Anyone? Yes, I, I talk about it. I the reason, it. the reason, I it. the reason Adnan makes these realize. comparisons is he is ashamed by his co-religionists and the greatest insult he can think of to tar any state with is to compare it to his co-religionists in Syria. Okay. So can I ask so one? You can respond. Yeah. Okay. So first to history. My surgery begins. What Joseph did 
He read you quotes which he has collected from internet, from Google searches, uh, from Zionist Google websites, maybe Zionist propagandists. And he is a Zionist when, when, he, when he's reading of when he's reading examples of persecution, he's reading of a Jewish man found Jizya to be very high. Another Jewish man was wrong uh, was wrong in such and such place. But do you notice? Did you notice when I read the quotes? They represented social realities. They represented, they represented a lot of people. How they lived under Islam and Muslims. I will continue with that. Okay. Now, the city of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem. Okay. What happened? What happened throughout history with the Jewish people is the question. How did they feel under Islam? There are books written by academics. Now I challenge Joseph, how, how do we come to the conclusion? I can read quotes and quotes and he will read all his snippets and then people will be confused. One simple challenge, one simple challenge. Academics who are recognized by institutions as scholars, wait, scholars. Yeah, okay? Moshe Gil is the preeminent scholar on Jewish Islamic relations, freedom. Yeah, Moshe Gil is the one who wrote the history of Palestine. Yes. Yeah, he's yeah. the Have one. Have you read him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you know I know what I, the truth is. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Have you read Moshe Gil, right? Yeah, I've got both his books. Okay, good. Brilliant. That's so nice. I'm so happy to hear that. Have you read, have you read Emron Cohen? Okay. Have you read Jacob Lesnar? Have you read um, uh, Bernard Lewis? Uh, okay, you, which one? Uh, Jews of Islam. Yeah, Jews of Islam. Have you read it? Yeah. Have you read the book? Are you sure? What does he? Okay, what does he say in that book about Mus the Jews and the Muslims? So okay, he, now now we're getting somewhere. He has read the book. Now let's see if he's honest so about I, it. I disagree with Bernard Lewis. Ah, Bernard Lewis. Bernard Lewis <laughs> has wrote wait, wait, wait. classes. Mo Moshe Gill. I, Moshe by Gil. the way, all the people I mentioned are Jewish. All the people I'm Amnon Cohen, Moshe, Jewish. But Moshe Gil is Bernard Lewis, quote. Jewish. Jacob Lesnar, Jewish. He the has only you know, remember is Moshe Gil. Just I want you to notice his body language. When he mentioned Moshe Gil and he became excited. Yes, I've read it, I've read it. I've got two volumes. Okay. But when I mention other Jewish scholars, a plethora of them uh, have you read Zion Zohar? No, but you okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you, okay, okay. Uh, do you want me to keep mentioning names? I'm going to give you a list of Jewish scholars who will dismantle your Zionism historically. They will show you how disingenuous you people are. Wait, 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 wait. This is okay. So wait, 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 wait. He's playing tricks. No, it's my tricks. Two lists. Sorry, you were asking me questions. So okay. So, so, how do we know what Jake, Joseph is saying and what I'm saying? How? We go to secondary sources. We go to Jewish scholars and non-Muslim scholars who have written on this phenomenon. Okay, they will tell you, they will tell you that the Jews lived under Islam in protection and prosperity. Jewish scholars, I'm not talking about Muslim propagandists, Imams or Muslim theologians writing these books, trying to present them to the Zionists. Jewish scholars writing this, such as, for example, okay, Dean Philip Bell, Dean Philip Bell. Bell. Yeah, who is a professor of who is a professor of Jewish history he's in Jewish, the uh, um, no, no, he's a professor of Jewish history. Jewish he's Jewish. Okay, I don't know if he's Jewish. We can check. Okay, Dean What's Philip Bell, Dean Professor Philip. Dean Philip Bell, who is a, who is dean and professor of Jewish history at Spurtus Institute of Jewish Studies in Chicago. This is what he had to say in his book. Okay, what does he say? He's a professor of Jewish history. He's a current recent scholar who has studied all of these quotes and beyond. What does he say? Jews under medieval Islam never suffered from same general negative perception as in the Christian West. Are you listening? Despite regional variations and high medieval political instability in medieval Islam, multicultural environments combined with active engagement in sciences and literature led to something of an Islamic golden age for the Jews. At least according to most historical accounts. So what Dean Philip Bell, a professor of Jewish history in, in an institute in Chicago is saying most historical accounts tell us that the Jews had a golden age under Islam. Okay, and then he continues, it has 
been primarily in the context of recent political developments that the once assumed positive view of Jewish life under medieval Islam have been seriously questioned. What recent political developments is he talking about? What? The State of Israel. The State of Israel and the Zionist, and the Zionist movement, right? It is only the Zionists who have challenged this golden age of Islam uh, of the Jewish people because it goes against the agenda. What do the Zionists argue like Joseph has been arguing? Why are we even having this debate? The reason we're having this debate is because Joseph was a, was a Zionist, proud Zionist, self-proclaiming Zionist. He has said that Jews needed protection. Their lives were in danger. What happened in Germany could happen again. Even though some scholars said that if Muslims are ruling Germany, we would have six million more Jews in the world today. Okay, some Muslim scholars said this, right? So why did the Zionists have to make up this lie and this story that the Jews were heavily persecuted under, under, under Islam, even though the overwhelming majority of Jewish historians writing on Jewish history, yeah, they say that the Jews lived under Islam in harmony and protection for over a thousand years. And who is saying this? Not Muslim historians, Israeli Jewish historians, including Bernard Lewis, who was seen as an authority on the history of Islam. He died over 90 years old. He was advising the US government during the Iraq war. He actually advised President Bush to attack Iraq. Bernard Lewis, this is hostile. This is how hostile this person. He has written a book titled the Jews of Islam. In this book, he states what? The Jews lived in relative harmony under Islam. Such a hostile person to Islam and Muslim is writing this. And he doesn't like it because he's a Zionist. He, Bernard Lewis, Bernard, yes, yeah, wait, wait, he, 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 he did, he did. And then his conclusion was that all of these exceptional events and incidents put together cannot outdo or outweigh the positive experience of the Jewish people for over a thousand years with Muslims. This is, his, this is his conclusion. And not only that, other Israeli scholars, the surgery commences. This is the surgery. Now Joseph is going to enjoy the surgery. Amnon Cohen. Why do Israelis, Zionists like this man, have to argue that the, the Jewish people had no chance under Islam, even though they survived, me, brother. What do you mean by Zionists? Bro brother, 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 we are having a debate. We're in the middle of a debate, so I'll come back to you. Okay. Amnon Cohen, a Jewish historian from Israel, studied the documents stored in the archives of the Sharia Court of Jerusalem, commonly known as Sigil, from the 16th century, whereby he found 1,000 Jewish cases filed from the year 1530 to 1601 with the Sharia court. Cohen published his research in 1994 and during his research he made some astonishing discoveries as he himself states and I quote Cohen. He states, cases concerning Jews cover a very wide spectrum of topics. If we bear in mind that the Jews of Jerusalem had their own separate courts, the number of the cases brought to Muslim courts, which actually meant putting themselves at the mercy of a judge outside the pale of their communal and religious identity is quite impressive. The Jews went to the Muslim court for a variety of reasons, but the overwhelming fact was the ongoing and almost permanent presence there. This indicates that they went there not only in search of justice, but did so hoping or rather knowing that more often than not, they would attain redress when wrong. The Jews went to court to resolve much more than their conflicts with, the, with Muslims or Christian neighbors. They turned to Sharia authorities to seek redress with respect to internal differences and even matters within their immediate family, intimate relations uh, between husband and wife, Nafaka maintenance payments to divorce support and infants, etc. He continues, their possessions were protected 
although they might have had to pay for extra protection at night for their houses and commercial properties. Their title deeds and other official documents indicating their rights were honored when presented to the court being treated like those of their Muslim neighbors. Keep in mind, this is an Israeli scholar called Amnon Cohen writing about the condition of the Jewish people in the city of Jerusalem in the 16th century when the Ottomans were ruling the city under Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. And he continues, the picture emerging from the sigil documents is baffling. On the one hand, we encounter recurring Sultanic decree sent to Jerusalem in response to pleas in, respond, in response to pleas of the Jews. The Jews are pleading with the Sultan to the effect that nothing should be done to stop them from applying their own law. Regarding a variety of matters, there are also many explicit references to the other overriding importance of applying Sharia law to them only if they so choose. On the other hand, if we look closely at some of the inheritance lists, we see that the local court allocated to female members of Jewish families half the share given to male members, exactly as in Islamic law. This meant ipso facto a, signi a significant improvement in the status of Jewish women with respect to legacies over the accorded, uh, over, not accorded, um, them by Jewish tradition. Although it actually meant the application of Islamic law and, and in an internal Jewish context. He, the Muslim judge, defended Jewish causes jeopardized by high-handed behavior of local governors. He enabled Jewish business people and craftsmen to lease properties from, from Muslim and endowments on an equal footing with Muslim bidders. More generally, he respected the rituals and places of worship and guarded them against encroachment even when the perpetrators perpetrators were other Muslim dignitaries. It doesn't stop. Neither do you. Amnon Cohen now concludes, having studied the sigil court records, a Jewish Israeli scholar published this research in 1994, and I'm quoting him word by word, against what Zionists like Joseph argue, that Jews were always persecuted, they were always in a state of fear, they never prospered, they were always being brutalized by Muslims, and the list goes on, right? And using what? Those snippets he used earlier. And this is what modern scholarship of the Jewish people has to say to the Jewish people. His conclusion is, Amnon Cohen, and I quote, no one interfered with the internal organization or the external cultural and economic activities. In a world where civil and political equality or positive social change affecting the group or even the individual were not the norms, the Sultan's Jewish subjects had no reason to mourn their status or begrudge their conditions of life. The Jews of Ottoman Jerusalem enjoyed religious and administrative autonomy within an Islamic state and as a constructive dynamic element of the local economy and society they could and actually did contribute to its functioning. So what point am I trying to make? This is a Jewish scholar from Israel and there's a list of them. There are many Jewish scholars who simply cannot lie. Even though some of them are spin doctors, no doubt. Some of these Zionist academics teaching in Israel and beyond they like to spin facts or they like to downplay the Islamic role in the well-being of the Jewish people, generally speaking. But there are those who know their integrity, their credibility is at stake. That's why people like Bernard Lewis, as hostile as he was to the Middle East or to the Arabs, in his public lectures, he said openly, in, in fact, in one of the lectures delivered in Israel in front of these Zionist Jewish activists, he said to them, there is no doubt that the Muslims allowed the Jewish people to live in harmony and peace. Okay? There's no doubt about that. Don't ever question that. Okay? So how on earth can Zionist activists like this can come and start quoting from primary sources out of context? Now, I'm going to finish now. I'm going to finish now. I want him to now bring me a recognized Jewish academic, let's say not Christian, not, uh, uh, not an atheist, not a Muslim, a Jewish academic who has said 
that Jews were persecuted throughout the Muslim history in the Muslim lands. One Jewish recognized academic, okay, okay, no, no, quoting, bring his quotes, bring his quotes, bring his conclusions, read to me what he said. I want you to know, I produced, how many did I produce? How many? You've been listening to me. I produced a number of authorities from the Jewish sources to argue that the Jews flourished prosperously under Islam. I produced many, and did I quote one Islamic source? Did I quote one Muslim source? I did not. I'm relying heavily on Jewish sources. I want him to now produce one Jewish academic recognized by Western institutions or any reputable institution who said that the Jews as a norm suffered under Islam throughout the history of Islam within the Muslim civilization. Yalla, over to you. What I find amazing about this is Adnan claims to be a historian and he just ridiculed me for using primary sources. This is absurd. So for those that don't understand how history works. No, it, it, and now it, it, Mr. Historian is going to teach us. Yeah. Do you have you a qualification in history? You have, you know, I have. I, I do. I know you do, which is the, I, which I do. Is the comedy of what you just uh, said. No, no, no. So, so I can, Adnan, st I can, st Adnan, I can, I can stand and say, let me teach Adnan, you how history works. Adnan, stop talking. You have what's called a primary source, which is the original You can tell document. us how Zionism, Zionism works. You have a primary source. How Zionist source. history works and generously a translation of that primary source, which is what Adnan relies on. And then you have the secondary sources, which is the interpretation of those primary sources. Now, I brought you primary sources that were both Jewish and Muslim, from Tapari to Maimonides, from the Cairo Geniza to wandering historians who went to... Um, conclusions. So, academic conclusions. What I gave you was the primary sources, and Adnan ridiculed them. What he's not telling you is every historian has a bias. Every historian has an agenda, usually. He's right, he's right. And what Adnan's doing is he's taking that person's interpretation of history and presenting that because it supports his narrative. Jewish he's academics. also misrepresenting that. So Bernard Lewis, his favorite person to quote, talks extensively about the anti-Semitism that Jews suffered under Islam. Moshe Gill, who is the academic that the academics quote, he is the or was the authority on Jew the Jewish condition under Islam. From the Gilanic phase, from the very emergence of Islam through to, to the, the, the Ottoman period, he is the, the authority, the historian, the historian's quote, and he is explicit in his writing, which we, I don't know. I haven't got the book to me, I'd have to bring the book up. Bring okay, then don't make claims. Okay, Adnan, you literally just quoted Bernard Lewis. I quoted out. people. No, no, you just said, Bernard Lewis said this to some Israelis in an audience. Like every time you quote, when I look it up, it's a lie. Every time. Every time. No, 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 no that was hyperbole, right? Now I'm telling you hyperbole, right? Now most times, all I'm asking for once, one, one example. Yalla, you know, you, you can't, you can't just run away. Throwing, throwing. What you'll also throwing, notice, here, what you'll notice, beep on the fan. What you'll notice, you know, as they say, when it hits the fan. I presented prime resources of Jews who live under Islam. One example. Many I, I need an example. Adnan. Wait, wait, wait. Adnan. I'll take it back. I take it back. Take what back? No, you said. Most times I misrepresent history and quotes. Okay. One example. I mean, yeah, me, me now we're talking. Okay. It's going to be fun now. One example. One example. It's going to go on Twitter. This is going to be fun. Okay. Remember, he said every time, and then he went back on so this most is, times, this is and what, now he can't even this, he can't even this, think of one this example. Is, this is what Adnan said. Adnan claimed on video, and anyone could go back. So that's one case. So before you presented one case, multiple cases from that time. Okay, right. so you're going to present all those multiple cases. Yes. Inshallah. Good, good, good. Now we're dealing with it. So what did I say? So Adnan said, "We have been honoured by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place." Yes. Now it doesn't say that anywhere, and the reason why this wait, is wait, 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 wait. So this is wait, 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 wait. the Kitron. No, no. Sefer Kitron Kabbalah. No, Sefer Kitron. Yeah. Yeah. So where, do, where, 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 where is that? So this is. So you said 
on camera. No, no, no. Read, the, read what I posted. That's what that's no, no. Read what I posted, brother. You can't read what that's you posted. That's he's screenshot. reading from what he posted. That's a screenshot. He, he's <laughs> reading for what he thinks I said. Read from what I, I posted. You're gonna have the. You know, this is surgery gone wrong. This is. This is. Now we we're looking for this instruments. Is, this is the quote that I. You're gonna have the right of your life. This is the English quote that I've been quoted. Uh, okay, where from? I don't know where you quoted. Oh, God, what you don't, <laughs> if you don't know where I quoted it from. No, I can go back to no, what you said. You, you, I, I'm assuming you might have checked it, right? So that we have I quoted the book title, the page, and the exact quote yeah, yeah. screenshot from the page. You're going to have fun today. You're going to have fun. He said, first he said, all the times I misrepresent history. Then when I challenged him, he said, Adnan, most times. Adnan, can I respond? And now he's struggling to find one. Go on. okay, so I'm going to go through each one of the ones you brought. Yeah, yeah. So let's leave the them one by one. Whose, the people in whose hand the temple is today mm -hmm. have made it into a choice into a choice, excellent and honorable place of worship. Yes. They say, let us worship the one God who created heaven and earth, to whom the creatures belong, until the coming of the Messiah. And on that day, the true worship will be renewed and will be acceptable before God. Okay. I'm going to, before, before we get into what it actually says, I'm going to ask you, what language did you quote? I took this quote from A History of Jerusalem, authored by Karen... Are you listening? Yes, sir. Okay. Authored by Karen Armstrong. Okay, when I quoted this source, I, because Karen Armstrong is a reputable scholar, she's lecturing around the world, she's a well-recognized scholar, okay, and she is uh, qualified in her field. She actually taught Hebrew at university, as far as I know. I read, wait, 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 finish, let me finish, you ask me a question. She quoted this very quote in her book, A History of Jerusalem. I took it word by word and I pasted it. So now he's claiming that I misrepresented the, the original. Okay, that's what. Right. So, okay. Can, can so, I, no, can so I, now you're going back. No, can I make my no, point? No, you're going back. Listen to what I'm saying. Good, good, good. Instead of so, so getting smart, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. So Adnan was ridiculing me before for using primary sources, and he's fully reliant on secondary sources. Yes, I am. And here's I the have problem. To. Yeah. I read, I went, Sefer Petron um, was one of the hardest books I ever managed to source. It does not exist in English. You can't get it in any Jewish bookshop. You can't get it on Amazon. Amazing. You can barely get it anywhere. I managed to I, find I found it straight I, away. No, you didn't. I you found didn't. it straight away. In Hebrew. Google. Google Sefer Petron. Now, right now, I'm going to show you. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, this is wait, wait, wait. This is going to be fun. This is going to be this amazing. Because I found it in Hebrew and it doesn't Sefer. say anything that he says. What you're going to find is whoa, an English whoa, 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 Let's see. This okay. is amazing. Sefer Petron Torah. Can you see? That's a different it's, book. Wait, 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 wait. It's a different book. It's a different book. It's a different is book. It, is this a different book? Yeah. Sefer Petron Torah. This is the book I quoted. Hebrew. Yes, it's in a, Hebrew. It's a different no. book. There's so, two books with the same name. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is, this, is the, this, is the, this is the guy we're dealing with. This is what I have to put up with every single week in the park. Okay. This, 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 this he's day. calling me a clown. He's been this calling me a clown. Okay. And I'm telling him where to find his Jewish sources. Right. So, this is it's a simple Google search. Sefer, S E F E R, Petron, P I T R O N, Torah, T O R A H. Do that, you'll find the Hebrew text. And he said, it's the most difficult book to find. I'm not surprised. Most books are very difficult for you to find because you can't, you don't want to read them. This is, this okay. is the best bit. So I'll ask him again, show me the text inside that book. So, so, so you're no, wrong. No, no, not at all. So at least have some integrity and say, I apologize for all my blunders. First, I accuse him of, of, of getting history wrong most of all the time, all the time, Adnan. all the time. So I got, I managed to get my BA and my master's and I'm doing my further studies. All of these scholars in these universities are mark, marking my essays, must be a bunch of so fools I'm gonna say or must Adnan, be anti-Zionist for them to even pass my exams. Show me the text inside that book now. Wait. I, I don't. It's a manuscript. Are you not listening to me? Are, are you are you passing so, there? Adnan. Okay. Like, again. I said I quoted. I took this quote from again. The, a history of Jerusalem, authored by Karen Armstrong. Uh, yes, Karen Armstrong. Armstrong. When did I claim? Asking, wait, wait, wait. When did I claim ever? So I, my, I, wait, are stop you stopping? talking? No, I'm not listening. Because you're, not because listening. you're making things up. So again, you're making things for the, for the up. I never said I read the Hebrew. I never said I read the entire Hebrew text. I claimed that this quote is there 
and it is used in this context, the context I used it in by Karen Armstrong in a book, A History of Jerusalem. Period. You can go back to our first conversation on this point. For some reason, this guy cannot get this into his head so for the last Karen two years. Armstrong, Karen Armstrong, I imagine he's never read the quote either. It is incredible. Now he's claiming Karen Armstrong it's, who it's, taught it's Hebrew. Incredible. Actually, I don't know if he taught. It's incredibly difficult to solve. I'm gonna read her credentials now. I, you're gonna, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna have the, you're gonna have the right of your life. Karen Armstrong, wait, wait, wait. A nun. I'm she's gonna not read. Jewish. She's a, she's a nun. Who said she's Jewish? Did I say she? Did I say she's Jewish? No. So what are you? So, okay. What's wrong with you, man? Okay. Are you hearing things? Okay. Is someone whispering Adnan, to you? Adnan, Adnan, why are you so afraid to let me speak? Yeah, I'm not. Then shut up. <laughs> so the book is incredibly difficult to source. I managed to track down a PDF version of it in Hebrew. I went through it, it says nothing of what he's saying. There's a quote that kind of roughly resembles what he's saying. What it goes on to say is it ridicules Islam. It calls Muhammad a madman. And what Adnan doesn't know is any of this, because if he knew how it insulted Islam, he would never have caught it as a proof. Most Jewish sources I quoted today, I will, I will help him, are hostile to Islam. Most Jewish sources I quoted today are hostile. So when did I claim this guy, what, what the problem with him is he builds a straw man he builds a straw man and speak? because he doesn't know what are a straw man is no, no. and he attacks it i never claim that these jewish sources are pro-islamic and they are praising they what they are saying is their experience with muslims living in the domain of islam was positive they're not saying islam is true if they thought islam was true why would they be rabbis why would they even write in Hebrew, uh, you know, these commentaries? They are not Muslims. They don't believe in Islam. They believe Prophet Muhammad was an imposter. He was not a true prophet. I'm telling you this. Why are you attacking straw man? When did I say, sir, when, when did I say Sefer Petron is a pro-Islamic text? When did I say that? You were saying that they were, they was literally. No, in that the, quote, what you're in that quote, again, I'll read what you said. I'll read this guy's a said. waste of time. We have been honored by the Muslims that we worship together the same God in this holy place. We have been honored. When you actually read what the book says, it says nothing of the sort. Now, I'm not gonna say- Karen Okay, Armstrong I'm gonna take ready. you up on that. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get someone to the read- translate the, the, No, 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 the actual, the yes, actual, wait, wait, wait. The Hebrew. If, okay, wait, there has to be some, some kind of, uh, some kind of, a compensation for all the pain I'm going through because you know sur surgeons when they do surgery it's, it really drains the brain you know because it's now it's been killing my brain for the last two hours wait okay wait 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 okay no problem and you're struggling to show us how so okay wait 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 I'm gonna get the Hebrew text Definitely. translated Thank word by word Thank you. and if it says what Karen Armstrong claimed it says, then what, Joseph? Some kind of compensation. Do you all agree? Yeah. Do you all agree? There has to be some kind of price to pay, right? Yeah. What price is it? What are you going to pay? What are you going to pay? If the Hebrew text, word by word, word by word says what Karen Armstrong translated. So, okay, wait. It's if, a, as I said, wait, 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 wait. if a Jewish rabbi confirms, I'm going to get a Jewish rabbi to read that text, translated word by word. In context. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. If Otherwise, I can say wait, wait, wait. I strike the neck of the wait, disbelievers. Wait, wait, wait. What is the context? Read the quote again. What is the context? So, uh, can you read the Hebrew? You have the Hebrew there. No, you don't have it. You got it wrong, right? Okay. So he, have you read the Hebrew of that quote? Yes. You have. Do you have it now? No, I just said I don't have it. Now. Okay, you don't have it. Now. Got okay. okay, okay. If the Hebrew text says exactly what Karen Armstrong claimed it says. What price are you willing to pay? And put a price on me as well. Put a price on me as well. So what I equal, it has to be equal, it has to be fair. So what I huh? say, Sorry? challenge Alam, she's not me. No, 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 so no, no it's, it's, a, it's a gift. I'll give it, I'll buy him a gift. I'll buy him a bunch of roses, no problem. So okay, I'll wait, be, wait. I'll be explicit. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm putting I'm a challenge out there. I, I, I want to be explicit, as I said. Don't be explicit. There is a quote that resembles that, but when read in context, we, we are dealing with it. We're is discussing. A, the the safer Petron is a is a book that is an anti-Muslim polemic. It is not a book which endorses so, the, and quote, the phrases. The quote. The quote. So, if if look, if there is a hostile enemy, and this is why this quote is more valuable to us. Now it's confirming it's a hostile source, and even. Even though it's a hostile source, 
It is saying that these people on who, in whose hand the temple is today, who are they? The Abbasids, the Muslims. In the ninth, Sefer Petron is a ninth century source. It's a ninth century Jewish anonymous source written in Palestine. The person is an eyewitness. He or she is definitely a he, okay, is explaining that in the temple in, in the temple is in the hands of these people today and they have made it an honorable place of worship so this is a hostile source which he ag agrees to and admits is praising the situation in Paris. so joseph have some shame what kind of what kind of human are you man have some shame wait 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 let me let me if if that if that quote says what it says or what karen armstrong claimed it says what price are you willing to pay? Be brave. Be brave. Zionists are brave, no? Zionists are brave. Yeah. You speak a lot. So I'll be again. Very clear for the camera. There is a quote which says something which resembles that. Which uh, now resembles. So he has come from. Doesn't say that to resembles. Okay. I just want you to know what, what is happening here. It resembles. Adnan, what I want to be how, how, how? Adnan, stop talking and let me respond. Okay. So the book is an anti-Islamic polemic. He presented it as evidence of the Jews honoring Muslims. What Adnan said in the actual quote we have in the conversation, and there's nothing that these are. So first, so two minutes. Two first, minutes. he claimed. So first, he claimed that I put Ishmaelites in there. First, he claimed. So this you, is, do you remember? This is what, wait, 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 Joseph, Adnan, wait. Stop. This is, me, Adnan, this is an expose. This is an expose. I am going to explicitly say there is nothing that resembles this quote, which is what you said. We have been honored by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place. Nowhere in that book. When did I say that? On camera. That's literally what I was responding to. Okay, okay. Now, now, now. Stop. Okay, let's assume stop. I said. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That is what you said. Mm. I said, I searched for that book. I found that book. There was nothing that resembles that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, even if I said it on camera, which I doubt, I'll, I'll, I'll have to go and check. Even if I said it, every single word I said, I said is substantiated by the so court. What, every single word. What Karen Let's Armstrong, break it down. Does, let me, Let's break it down. What Karen Armstrong says is very different than what Adnan said. The okay. thing about we, we have been on First, the court did not Adnan! Stop. The quote does exist. The quote he's quite talking about is set talking about the Temple Mount. It's not talking about Jews being what honest. What price are Muslims. you willing to pay? So I will pay. I don't, if it says anything that it says, again, if it says what you said, you weren't saying that before, were you? So Adnan, he was. He was actually disputing the quote. Are you witness? Adnan. Let's 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 ask the witnesses. Was he disputing the quote? The actual quote when he read it. So this is was he was he disputing the quote? Adnan, I this called guy you a liar. Is a liar. I called you a this liar. This guy is a compulsive liar. I called you liar. a liar because you said this. You claim there is a quote that says we have been honoured by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place. There is no such okay. quote. That okay. was a lie. Stop. Okay. Good. Was that a lie? Good. 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 Was good. that a lie? Good. 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 I said, allegedly. Was that a lie? Well, yes I'm, or I'm no? Not responding. I'm just it's a yes no answer. What's your name? Yes or no? What's, what's your name? Yes That's or no? Not. Yes or no? No. What's your name? No. No. Okay. Exactly. Johnny. So now let me talk. He uh, he claims that I said that Ishmaelites have made this place an honourable place of worship. No, of I honor. didn't. I said we have been honoured by the Ishmaelites. Okay. We Good. have been honoured. Okay. Okay. Now, read the quote. So this is but, but first of all, in the ninth century, who is ruling? Who is ruling Palestine? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. You said it. The Basids. Okay. Who are the Basids? Huh? Who are the Basids? No, 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 no. Genealogically, ethnically, who are the Basids? Descend from Abbas. Who is Abbas? Who is Abbas? Abbas. Abbas is the son of Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib is the son of Hashim. Hashim is the son of Abdul Manaf. And the list goes back all the way to Ishmael. Are you aware? Are you aware? Okay, so now, now this guy, wallahi, I, I, I'm actually enjoying it. I, I hope people who are watching are also enjoying this. Yeah? Wait, wait, wait. So Abbasid dynasty was an Ishmaelite dynasty. Yes. Okay, yes. by that virtue, because they were ruling Palestine at the time, the quote states that 
those in whose hands the temple is today, i.e. the Ishmaelites, they have made it an honorable place of worship. Okay? Is that clear? Right? So now, now, if you have any shame, okay. if you have any shame, any integrity, which you don't seem to have, but I will give you the benef benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Miracles can happen. Okay. Apologize to me now. Does he owe me an apology? Yeah. Does he owe me an apology? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Apologize now. There's a big crowd Apologize of Muslims, now. so of course they're going to agree with Adnan. But for the camera, for the benefit of my audience, the quote, Ad, me and Adnan were talking about how Muslims treated Jews. The quote in, 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 the, in the original manuscript talks explicitly about monotheism in the Temple Mount being turned into a place of monotheism. Nothing to do with how the Muslims treat the Jews. So let me, re just so everyone's following, we were debating whether Muslims persecuted Jews. Adnan quoted... Because of Israel, Adnan, because of Israel. Adnan, I didn't interrupt. You're not going to apologize? Adnan, let me speak. I, what, I, what are you trying I, to do? If he I was you, I would apologize. This is a debate tactic. A human, he's not he's allowing the audience to follow the conversation. Because he's trying to use cheap tactics. So again, we were debating what it was like to live as a Jew under Islam. He brings a quote which he's never read in the original source. Because if he did, he knew that the quote would talk, the book would talk about the persecution that Jews faced under Islam. Show and me, show, show us. No, 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 no. I, no, I don't I, believe you. I, I, show us. I, I, show us. No, no, I don't believe anything that's he says. Fine. That's show, fine. Show, if, that's if, fine. There, if there's no evidence, this guy has shown to be a liar repeatedly throughout this discussion. See, see how we don't trust anything he says. Me show, I, I, ask me for evidence. When I make a claim, I will present the evidence. Not, you if you cannot, evidence show, so that okay, source, I you're going to show me from Sefer Petron that the author is claiming that the Jews are persecuted. Show us now. Now, 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 now. Sefer Petron, quote in Hebrew and translate and show us where it says. terrified of me speaking. He has to lay down these challenges. I'm not. He has to lie. Joseph, don't lie. Let me speak. So let me Let me finish a sentence then. If you're not afraid for me to speak, let me finish a sentence. So we were debating whether Muslims persecuted Jews. He then said that we have been honored by the Ishmaelites. That I didn't say that. Don't lie. I literally read your words. I word quoted you Karen Armstrong what you said, in this regard. Okay. You, 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 have, Adnan, you have comprehension okay. problems. Okay, Adnan, you have comprehension are you problems. Denying your that brain you cells are, are not you functioning. Deni are you denying that you said that? That's why you're are a Zionist. You denying That's you why you're this. a Zionist. We have been honored by the Ishmaelites. If, Ishmaelites. If, 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 if. Are you denying that you said this? We have been honored by the Ishmaelites. Are you denying that? I have to go and check what I said because I don't trust you. Number one, wait, wait, okay? I don't trust you. Wait, That's I'm, I'm, I'm responding. What? I'm responding. That is I'm the responding. argument. I'm responding. Did I qualify my words from the quote? Did I or not? Did I? Did I contextualize my even? Let's say even if. The, and you know what? Let's 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 make it easy. Let's make it easy. I I own those words, even though I might not have said those words. I own them. I own them. I will stand by the term Ishmaelites and honoring the Jewish people. Okay, I will stand by these two because this is what he's debating. The quote says that a Jewish author writing a commentary on the Torah in the 9th century in Jerusalem is writing that those people in whose hand the temple is today in the 9th century, yeah, they have made it an honorable place of worship and we worship one God. Okay, now, now, he says those people in whose hand the temple is today. Who are those people? In the 9th century, who are those people? Abbasids. Abbasids are Ishmaelites. I've already qualified that. This guy, his brain cells are dead today for some reason. It's not registering. The information is not, you know, Microsoft gets viruses, right? So it's, it's the virus has really corrupted the, the software. It's not getting through. The Abbasids are Ishmaelites. So I stand by that, that term. The quote says they made the temple into an honorable place. For who? Who is writing? Who is writing? Who, no, who is writing this? A Jewish rabbi, a Jewish scholar. So he's saying he, they have made it an honorable place for who? For Muslims? He's writing, writing about himself, right? So this is the quote used in this very context. I am using it in by Karen Armstrong in her history of Jerusalem, who's a scholar. For some reason, 
this guy's brain cells are not registering that information. It's a very, very minor point. We have spent more time than necessary on this point. You know why he's doing this? You know why he's doing this? Because he now knows that he's looking like a fool. He made a claim first that I misrepresent history all the time. Remember? Yes. Then I challenged him on that. He said, no, 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 no. That was a hyperbole, right? Uh, most times, most times. I said, okay, most times. Show me one. He pulls out, he pulls out this one. And now on this one, he's already struggling. He's trying to find a way out. He's not getting the way out. I even challenged him. I even gave him the benefit of the doubt. Go and find the Hebrew quote. If it doesn't say what Karen Armstrong claimed it says, what price are you going to pay? If it says exactly what she said it says, what price are you paying? He's not responding. Repeatedly, ignoring my plea or my call. And put the same price on me. I'll let him choose. 100,000 pounds? I'll go and sell my my clothes and my whatever I possess, you know, little whatever little I possess, I'll sell my books, okay, and I'll bring the money. But what you're going to do? Okay. What are you going to do? What are you going to sell? So what you have noticed there is Adnan, the Zionist state of Israel is Adnan not going to come to your rescue. Strong, a street of unhumanism. Okay, now can you answer my question? No, no, what are you willing to pay? No, 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 no. This is this is not acceptable. He's wasting our time. Blood insult after insult at me, and when people fling insults, it's usually because they've lost the debate. So I will repeat for the benefit of the audience the conversation we were having was about persecution of Jews. Adnan brought an example of a quote that does not exist. He said, we have been honored by the Ishmaelites. Now there is a youth, I'm gonna paint, illustrate it for the audience so they understand. Prior to the Islamic conquest of Jerusalem, the Temple Mount had been turned into a garbage heap. It had been violated. Our holiest site had been left in ruins. And Islam, Muslims conquered Jerusalem and turned that round and turned it into a place of monotheism. So when the author is talking, he's not talking about the condition of Jews. Do you believe him? The, the, Do you believe him? The, he doesn't have the Hebrew, he's making the story up. Because it's not, so even if you read the quote. So, so accept my challenge. If you're right, I'm wrong. I'm willing to accept. If you're right, accept my challenge. What price are you willing to put? What price are you willing to put if you are wrong on the quote? What price? Just finish it. And finish, finish the whole debate. The quote debate. wasn't where the Kevin was. The quote was whether you were right. With I explained. I explained. How yeah, my you my word is your word. Okay, yeah. no, 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 no. I did yes. not twist. Yes, I did not twist. twist like a snake. Okay, okay. guys, guys, guys. Those of you who listen to me, using the same quote, a Jewish author writing in the ninth century, saying Adnan, for the fiftieth time, no, Adnan, you're saying, not going to speak over me. I was speaking. So again, the Jew, the Jewish author, is commenting on the, the Temple Mount, which had been violated and left and de it was desolate, it was a garbage heap, it had been turned into we a heard, beautiful shrine to Allah It had been turned into a place of worship. And all Jews, Inshallah, he will take all Jews including myself, I'm, I'm sure he's breaking Jews inside, you know, inside he's realizing. All Jews, including myself, all Jews, including myself, recognize that the Muslims turning the Temple Mount into a place to worship the Creator is far, far preferable. To so he's now accepting what I said. Far, no, 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 no. He's now accepting what I said. Oh, Adnan, no, no, no. Allah Adnan. 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 accepting what I said. You get a sense of who I'm debating here, by the way. It's not just Adnan. It's a very large crowd. There's no he's very brave. The very brave Zionist. He's being attacked left, right. People are throwing stones on him. Look at him. Oh, let me try to. <laughs> You, you know the paint. You have to make your, let, not, let me turn your camera on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't touch my no, camera. No, 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 why not? Why not? I want people to see what the, want all to... these bad people who are trying to attack. You know. I'm not. You had your turn. So don't, don't, don't you say had stupid had things like this on camera. What happens is when you try to refuse this logic, a crowd. he plays a clown and tries to distract and prevent me from finishing a point. Ken, I'm not going to So, okay. Okay. You know Hebrew? Yeah. 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 You know. Can you I read a quote? Okay. I've read the Can you read a quote for us? I've read the okay. Torah. I'm gonna find that quote. Bible. I'm gonna. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay. So which which one you believe? Carry on. I'm listening. It's his talk. He's the one talking. Um. So. 
the, the original author is talking about how something that is holy to the Jewish people, the holiest site in the world, had been turned into a rubbish heap and then it had been restored to a place of worship, worshipping the Creator. So he said it's been turned into an honourable place of worship. What Adnan said was different. We were debating about how Muslims persecuted Jews and he was saying this author said that we have been honoured so by the Muslims. I am so happy he admitted it. We have been honoured by the Muslims. I'm done. And I'm so obviously he's not accepting my challenge, which is fine. He just admitted it. Adnan, okay. The challenge is what you said is not. The challenge is if what Karen Armstrong said. And I literally said. And you just said you admitted. I said from the very beginning the Good. quote resembles Thank you. what Karen Armstrong Thank you. said. Thank you. So I was, in other words, ladies and gentlemen, you in other wrong. words, I you was not wrong. misrepresenting. Of course history. you were. You said we have been honored by the Muslims or the Ishmaelites, and it doesn't say anything of the sort. Uh, it, who. Who, this is ridiculous. who was Adnan managing the temple? Adnan, who was I managing? Just, in the 9th century. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. In the 9th century, who was managing the temple? The Abbasids. I've literally Abbasids. The Abbasids who are the same people Abbas who, made, Muslims? who made Jews wear yellow wait, wait, sleeves. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Muslims yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about the quote. They, they made them Talk ride about the on quote. donkeys. They wouldn't let them ride on horses. They wouldn't let them rebuild the house. CNN, Fox News, NBC. This is the Abbasids. Okay. This is the Abbasids. CNN, and he Fox wants you to NBC. think that a Jew living under the Abbasids okay. was saying that we have been honoured by these NBC. people. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Before you ask okay, it, okay, we're course. in the middle of a debate. So now it's clear that this gentleman, I will let the audience decide. There are Zionist people watching on this camera, debate, uh, on this channel, on. and there are Muslims watching. I will let it's you use debate. your own sense and it's decide whether this guy has any credibility yeah. left. Okay? I have been using sources upon sources secondary sources and primary sources. I've been using primary I've, sources. I've, been, I've been, never okay. read those primary So now, sources. how history works, how history works, let me teach you how history works because he, yeah, he you is, don't read the primary sources, wait, wait, you just wait, read wait, the secondary wait, wait, sources. Wait, wait. Wait, I, successfully, I, successfully, I successfully, uh, successfully uh, attained a BA in history and with, with honors, with honors, wait, wait, wait. And I'm not boasting, I'm only trying to explain this so that you understand that I am somewhat qualified to speak on history as a student, right? I have successfully completed my master's from the University of London in history and I'm now pursuing I'm now pursuing further studies this man has not I don't know whether he has done his uh, bachelor's or even a levels I don't know I don't know okay so he cannot be talking on history how history works is scholars academics academics they study primary sources then they write secondary works so they go, they go through primary sources and then they write their conclusions based upon those primary sources. What I read to what I, what I read to you was the primary sources and then the conclusions of secondary sources, recent scholars. Our recent scholars, they have studied a lot of these primary sources. That's why I asked him a very specific question. And those who study history will understand where I'm coming from. I asked him to present one conclusion from a Jewish scholar, let alone so Christian. No, no, no. He's sticking to have a he, you, haven't, you haven't read anything from Moshe Gill, so stop saying Moshe Gill. You haven't read anything. No, you did not. I literally quoted Moshe Gill in this conversation. Page number book, quote again. I'm, I'm going to allow you. Page number quote. Quote, where he said Jews were persecuted by Muslims throughout the history of Islam. I didn't say that, I said I was quite I've got a Muslim. question on that topic. Well, well, you, you, we'll come back to you. We'll when come I back said to the you days of okay. al Rashid saw the decrees regarding dress code. No, that's not Moshe Gill. That is Moshe Gill. Okay, is that, is, are these the words of Moshe Gill? Yeah, Which book, what page, page number? So, I'll, I will, I'll bring that so, to so you. stuff it, keep it to yourself. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 no, 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 you did not quote a historian. Give me the name of the book, give me the name. You were calling Sefei Pichron, um, what was it, Pichros Air, Pichros something or other, what was it you called him? In, the, in the first conversation? Yes, yes. Absolutely, no, I got that. Just, like, right. just like you're saying Hanafi. There's no, is there anything Hanafi in Islam? No. Hanafi? Okay, so shut up. Hey, okay. Is there, is so, there, any, is so there wait, anything wait, you both wait, agree on? Wait, no, uh, we, we there, agree, we agree on, on, we agree on the fact that he's a liar and I'm speaking the truth. Okay, that's, okay, that's, I don't that's think, what I think that's yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So now, that's not so no, no, I'm, 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 I'm known for this. I, I, I don't like to be in front of people. I don't, like to, I don't like to be polite when I meet people like this. Leader, you know okay. what I'm saying? Show no, 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 no problem. Not leaders not leaders have to speak straight. And communicate together, not just put on Brother, don't lecture me for, let me finish. He read a quote and you didn't, he read three words. Did you just come now? We've been debating for three hours. You just came now. So, God puts me in a perfect time for every single reason. Wait, wait, no. Everybody that comes into your life. 
no, I let you speak. I will, I will, I will we'll come to your question. So it does not matter what time I came. Brother, you just came now, we've been debating like for three hours. the reason that I came. Okay. Why don't you try to talk to each other and work together, see what you agree on. We have been on. talking for three Instead hours. Instead of every single time you both speak, you either shut him down and not communicate. If brother, you're going to be a leader, brother, you lead people properly and you brother, speak properly and you show them how brother, to work together. Brother, thank you for the lecture. My question was, we've been speaking for three hours. Jewish, can I can I finish my point? Have been fed that story. So nowadays, they are so so his claim, they have this story. his claim that I was misrepresenting history falls on his face again. Bullshit. He has failed to show us in that quote that I misrepresented it while I showed you. Now it's your decision. You can decide. Second example. Any other example where I misrepresented history? Second example. Yallah. First is out. So and you decide. You decide. Let people decide. decide. Yes. He's yes. saying that yeah. the Jewish yeah. rabbi was saying we have been on a yeah. I'm price so confident that I said put a price on it. Put a price. You don't put a price on it. No problem. You're just chatting shit, man. Yeah. I agree. When yes. that shit happened, who they fed to Muslim servants? It's the algorithm and it's the fucking government. It's not the religion. So it's the algorithm and it's the government. This Jews will only see Jews killing Jews on their phone at that time, and Muslims okay. will only see Muslims killing Second Muslims at that time. Let's so if they see each other on the street now, Who's fed them that, that information? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, so they have that automatic presumption. He looks like that, so I'm going to think he is like that. Who no. feeds you that on day in, day out like on the fucking thing? They got closer and closer. Now they're in our hands. Brother, you just came now and you can't start to start lecturing That's us. Three hours this we've been debating. The you don't know the context. This is not the you battle. The discussing. battle is with the banking family. Okay, so, so and go, and go and deliver a speech there. People okay. will listen to you. People listen no, to you. Okay. Every somebody, yeah. everybody go, go over there and do You're the only one again trying to shut good information down. This is why I say this is not the way to lead. Like I'm filling with energy right now. So, so, so they were. They were to leave, first, first, I was misrepresenting history all the time. That's out. And most times, when I asked him one example, he failed on that. He's now looking for the second example of misrepresentation of history by Adnan Rashid. I'm interested. I would like to know. If I'm misrepresenting history, I'll apologize. I'll say, guys, I'm sorry, man. I really, you know, I'm, I've messed up and I will apologize. Yeah, I can't find the original Hasidic Diyan Yehudiyyeh. Okay, okay. So, 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 I covered what the original quote that I had done said, so I can't respond to that. But what we have this is, if one of our contemporaries, look, and this is Bakhya uh, ibn if one of our contemporaries... Wait, wait. Can, can yeah, 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 no problem. No, are you, you can quote it. What claim are you making here first? So, so that I, we are clear, we don't have to go around uh, for another hour. What claim are you making here on this quote? Have I misquoted this uh, quote? So you no, no. say... Yes. So yeah. what you said is that... Um, I I po I posted this from an original book yeah. translated no, by a Jewish I'm man sure. from by Hebrew. Into I, don't give it. I haven't got the original quote of what you said in the debate. It's not what I was but, but do you do you know where I, I got, got, I got, got you know where I got it from? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? yes, yes, yes. Can you can you bring that out? No 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 the actual title of the book. Yeah, yeah this one. This one. Yeah, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. Now wait, wait. He's about to show us an example of my misrepresentation of history. Okay, and I quoted, I posted the image Adam, of the can book. I, Adam, can I speak? Yeah. Literally, I was speaking, and now you. Okay. But can you explain the context? That's why. Yeah. What happened there? So you, cha you challenge me on this. I posted the book, okay. the page number, and the quote. So yes. What, what Adnan presented was that the rabbi was talking about the condition of Jews under Islam. Now I'm going to read you what the book actually uh, says. Before, Joseph, I want you to read, but before you do the context, very important for the discussion. Joseph came back and he said, this quote does not exist. No, I didn't. On Twitter. No, go back. Go back on Twitter. Yes. Go back on Twitter. Read. Read your tweet. He said, this quote does not exist. Adnan Rashid is a liar. This quote does not exist. He challenged me on two quotes and I posted both of them. I posted both of them. And then he started making it when he saw the quote instead of admitting yes the quote does exist then then he started to play games with the wording instead of admitting the quote does exist this man did say something but then he started to play games with the wording which is what he's about to do and we will see 
even there, same thing's gonna happen. Ishmaelites, remember Ishmaelites? The Abbasids? I think they do with Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It, 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 it does, it does. It does, watch. Okay, what's the word it uses? You, you, you tell me. Nothing to Make do your claim. Make your claim. Okay, what, okay. what did I, what did you tweet? You said this port does not exist. No, you said that. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna read the, the tweet now. Tweets not there. I called it for our debate. Oh, you uh, you deleted it. Yeah. You deleted it. So Joseph deleted the tweet. And I got this sort of idea. We okay. debate this. So I, I should have taken a screenshot. Joseph accused me of lying by claiming there is no such quote. What I did was I took the name of the book, the title page, the picture of the title page, the picture of the page, and that that very paragraph. I, so this is, this I, 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 I took the this screenshot and I posted. Okay, this and this, this is this is this is what I did. Show it to you. Show it to you. This is what I posted. Okay, okay. this is nice now. Please then, now, so the quote does exist. You admit now for the first time in the cam on camera, the quote does exist. So again, but it doesn't mean what I said. No, what if? Okay, Adnan, can you let? I'll, tell you, I'll read what we said on Twitter. Then people can come and make their own. Go on. Please see what this is Adnan. Please see what Rabbi Bakhtiar bin Ibn Bafud said about the prosperity of the Jewish people under Islam in the 11th century of Spain. The images show the exact quote and the page for this. Please see page 171 of this particular edition. I hope you will um, now acknowledge your error. And so what I responded so, so, Adnan. What I responded, and I'll, actually I'll read the quote so there's context. So what did you respond? So I'm going to respond. How did you respond? I'm going to respond. I'm going to read the quote first. Because you posted the no, no, quote. But how did Adnan! You if one of our contemporaries, this is the Jewish rabbi, looks for similar miracles now, let him examine objectively our situation among the Gentiles since the beginning of the diaspora and the way our affairs are managed in spite of the differences between us and them, both secret and open, which are well known to them. So I'm just going to repeat the, 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 the crucial part of that statement. If one of our contemporaries looks for similar, similar miracles, let him examine the objectively our situation among the nations since the beginning of the diaspora. The condition of under the gender since the beginning of the yes. I'm just going to go back and then you can do it in the order. So now what I respond to... No, 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 no. Finish, finish the quote. Finish the quote. Finish the quote. Don't read half of it. Okay. Let them see our situation as far as living and subsistence are concerned is the same as theirs or even better in times of war and civil disturbances. You see how both their leaders and their vulgar peasants toil much more than the middle and lower classes among us, according to our Lord's promise contained in Scripture. Allahu Akbar. So now. Now. No, 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 no. no. Let's, let's, let's. Did you understand Gen the quote? So now, now. Yeah, what's your claim this now? Is, this is exactly Gentiles, so the word isn't actually Gentiles. If you go to the Hebrew, it's Ummat. Um, Ummah, Ummat is plural, nations. So, nations since the beginning of the diaspora. So this is what I reply to Adnan. He's talking about our condition amongst the nations since we were exiled. So not in this moment, in this moment and every moment prior to that, from the beginning when we were first exiled from Jerusalem. So this would have been a thousand years. Not sure why, this is what I'm saying to Adnan now, not sure why you think he means Muslims, when it's a thousand year period that predates Islam. And so, you responded, Bahia lived under the Arab rule in Islamic Spain. He wrote in Arabic and the Gentiles he was talking about in the quote were the Arabs. Your reading comprehension is visibly poor. I hope you will now demonstrate some shame and apologize. And so I responded that I've got my response. I'm not sure. But basically, I have got my response. I just read it, so let me... So now he's talking about the 1,000 years of exile. He literally says, our position amongst the nations, this is the actual text, our position amongst the nations since the exile began. He doesn't say our position amongst the Ishmaelites. He doesn't say our position amongst the Arabs or amongst the Muslims. He says amongst the nations since the beginning of the exile. So what Adnan was doing, he was saying that this quote, which is talking about the condition of the Jews since we were exiled from Jerusalem, is applicable to Muslims. Okay. And I'm saying no, it's applicable to the Jewish condition since the beginning of the exile, including under the Christians who you say persecuted. Brilliant, 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 amazing, I like that. Okay, so uh, Joseph is clay, claiming that Bahia bin Bakuda is not talking about the Arabs or the Muslims, correct? Um, 
correct? No, I'm saying you're talking about every, all the nations. No, no, no. I, I think that Are you nations clear? since the beginning of the exile. Okay, is what I'm okay, okay. In that quote, when he says our living conditions are even better than theirs, when Baya bin Bakula say, makes that statement, He's saying our, is he talking about the diaspora or is he talking about yeah. Islamic about the, Spain no, in the, the diaspora, the, otherwise he would Okay, have said. okay. So you're claiming it's not talking about Muslim Spain, Cordoba in particular. Yes, you know. Good. Okay, good, good. I like that. I like that uh, um, bravery. Okay. Uh, where is Bayabil Bakuda? Where yeah, is here. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to read this quote, and that's why I asked Joseph. That he clearly has comprehension problems. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Why have been a message, brother, man? Yeah, I really know. We'll just get a message, but this is the case. I'm sorry to interrupt, man. <laughs> Bahia bin Pakuda, a Jewish rabbi writing in Islamic Spain in the city of Cordoba in 1080. 1080. In the year 1080, when Muslims are ruling Cordoba, the Umayyad Caliphate has already collapsed. Cordoba is still under Muslim rule, right? He writes, if one of our, if one of our contemporaries, are you listening? Are you listening? If one of our contemporaries, who is a contemporary? Today, yes. Maya is writing in 1080 in Cordoba, in Cordoba, the Muslim capital of Spain. If one of our contemporaries, is, contemporaries looks for similar miracles now, okay, looks for similar miracles now today now if you want to see a similar miracle today now then let him see let him examine are you listening yeah we're gonna see now another blunder of mine okay. let him examine objectively our situation among the nation okay or oh, the gentiles okay okay okay, okay. yeah which Gentiles? Where is Bahia? Where is Bahia? Where is he? Let him see now. Now. Let him see us now. Where is he? Where is he? I just told you. In Cordoba. In Islamic Cordoba. Let him see now our situation among the Gentiles. Who is he talking about? The rulers. The people of Cordoba, who were they? Muslims. Yes. Muslims, right? Okay, continue. Since the beginning of the diaspora and the way our affairs are managed in spite of the differences between us. So since that time, since that time, today, he's talking about today. Okay, now coming to our situation today, managed in spite of the differences between us and them, both secret and open. So our difference between us and the Arabs are secret and open, both known to them. They know because they're scholarly. They are very educated, right? Which are well known to them. Let him see. Let him. Who? Let him. Who? Let who see? Someone, if one of our contemporaries look for similar miracles now. So he's talking to that one who is looking now. Let him see now. Let him see now that our situation as far as living and subsistence are concerned is the same as theirs or even better. So he's talking about now, not the past. Now, in time of war and civil disturbances, you see how both their leaders, you see, so he's talking to the one who is looking now. I keep saying now, now, now. I'm sorry if I sound annoying because this guy Obviously, there is a virus there, so I need to really, really push that hard into his uh, mind so that it gets in there, right? So, you see how both their leaders, you see now, who is you now, okay? Their vulgar and peasants toil, uh, sorry, how both their leaders and their vulgar peasants toil much more than the uh, middle and lower classes among us, the Jewish people, okay? According to our Lord's promise contained in the scriptures. Now, Baya bin Bakuda is clearly categorically saying that our condition with the Muslims, the Arabs of Cordoba, is not even equal to theirs, but even better. It's better than theirs. We live better lives than them. And even though our differences are known to them, they are known to them, they know who Jewish people are, they know our sources, they know our beliefs, secret and open. 
Despite all of that, we have our living condition better than theirs. If not equal, better than theirs. Is this what Bahia is saying? What do you guys understand? Please be fair. Be fair. Don't be biased. Okay? You may like me. You may like Joseph. Don't be biased. What do you think Bahia is saying? Is he talking about now or is he talking about the past? I'm going to say one thing. Just now. Is, okay. Let's, let's, let's take voting. Let's take voting. Did you hear all no, of that? Just keep no, I think it's going to be okay, okay, the camera. Are you Muslim? No, I'll speak to the camera. Are you Muslim? So okay. Very, what, very, wait, very, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's, let's take voting. Let's take voting. Okay. okay. You didn't follow. Who followed? Did you follow? Is it now or past? Did, what did you understand? Now? 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 So there is a consensus. Now it's very, very, very. It's fine if there's... By the way, these are all Muslims. So I want to be fair to camera. Okay? So, so but but, again, but what I'm they cannot say, all possibly I'm, be lying. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to say, for those that... You're fine to believe and agree with that. That's, that's your right to. I'm not going to say. Anyone who's familiar with the way that Jewish rabbis write, Jewish scholars write, when somebody uses a statement that says, among the nations since the beginning of the Galut, Galut is the word it uses. Galut means the exile, the exile from Jerusalem. So a thousand years prior to this rabbi writing this, the Jews, the Jews were exiled from Jerusalem. And since that point, until recent history, we didn't have a state and we lived amongst other nations. Why the author chooses that sentence is because he's saying, while we've been exiled and we lived under Christians, we lived under Muslims, we lived under all of these people, as a general rule, our condition has been surprisingly good. Now what Adnan has done in previous debates we've had, he's talked about how Christians persecuted Jews, how pagans persecuted Jews. And what this author is clearly saying is that amongst all the people we have lived, as a general rule, there have been times when we've prospered and done well. If anyone wants to see a miracle of the Creator and His connection with the Jewish nation, look at our condition. And you can see that today. In recent history, the Jews were massacred in the Holocaust, yet Jews today, as a rule, are not in the same poverty that they were in the time. Yeah, stick to Bahia, stick to Bahia. And so how the author, what the author is being explicit with is since the beginning of the, gen the exile, which is a thousand year period, that Jews have, as a rule, had prosperous times under these different nations. It uses the term Galu and Umar. Okay. So what do you make of this? If one of our contemporaries looks for similar yeah, miracles if, now, so what know, is he talking? What is he saying here? He's, he's, he's talking about now, yeah. Literally, what? I'm, I don't know, so again. So when he says our living conditions, our living conditions. Wait, wait, wait. Let him see. Let him see the one who is looking for similar miracles now. And that so how does the court the start? Wait. If one, no, no. If one of our He's writing in Cordoba. No, but he's, he's, writing for he's, he's writing for the Jewish people in Cordoba. If one of Cordoba. our contemporaries looks for similar miracles I'm, now, what am I saying? Jump, wait, saying? wait. Let's Let say, him what see. Am I, I'm, what am I saying? What's my argument? Your argument is that he's not talking about his conditions in Cordoba among the Muslims. That's what you argue. No. Yes. What yes. I'm explicitly stating is he's saying since the beginning of the exile. If you look at the general standard condition, well, what am I saying? You're saying that Baya is talking about Cordoba, his living conditions among the Muslims are better than Muslims. That's what I'm claiming from this quote. And so I'm. And, and, and can we find that there in the quote? I'm saying I can see how you can reach that conclusion. Yeah. And I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying, okay. I'm saying now you, I'm, I'm so glad that you're saying that now. <laughs> on Twitter, <laughs> on Twitter. I, I, you, okay, for some reason, that's why you, you deleted the tweet. So Joseph, today, right now, in front of these cameras, admit that I can okay. see how Adnan can reach that conclusion. I can appreciate that. I can see that reading can also be read. I mean, even though that's the only reading that can be read, but I am willing to concede some territory to you. But at least have the courtesy. Yeah, have the courtesy to admit. I can see how you reach each of your conclusions. And I'm in my right to read that conclusion into the quote. So, yeah, yeah. so I did not misrepresent the quote. I, no, you, you missed the first quote. You definitely misrepresented. That was maybe an which, 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 which the, first the, quote? The, no, first quote is out. This one. This one. First quote is we were discussing for one hour. So that's out. This quote. So I did not misrepresent so, this quote. Again, so, again, I can see how you reached the conclusion that you believe. You so I did not misrepresent this quote. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I can see how you reached that conclusion. How most Jews would read that, it's not the same way that you read Okay, it. no problem. But did I misrepresent this quote? Coming back to the main question. 
did I misrepresent this historic quote? Did I did I mis mispronounce it? Misapplied it? Did I mis did I, did I mis misuse it? Unfortunately, I can't remember what you said. I'll go back to the original debate and see what you said. No, in in the very beginning of this discussion, you said that Adnan is claiming things that are not there and he's misusing the quote. And the discussion okay, started me, okay, because I, the discussion started with your claim that I misrepresent history all the time. Yes? yes. Okay. Then I challenged you and you said, no, no, that was hyperbole. So you misrepresent history most of the time. I said, okay, no problem. Let's talk. So I said to you one example. You pulled out one example, you dealt with it. It's gone. Now this is the second example you pulled as a misrepresentation of history on my part. Now you're saying you can see why I would read that conclusion into it. I can see why you would so, so, so this example is... Allow me to answer the yeah. point that you did. This yeah. is not your point. I can see how you would read that. If you actually read the quote as a Jew would read it, it's not saying what you're saying. So I'm trying to be gracious to you and say... I'm, I'm being very gracious because where I took this quote from, this is a history of Spain written by David Nicole, if I'm not mistaken. It's titled Muslim Spain. I took the quote from that book and he's using it exactly how I'm using it to argue that the Jews were writing about their good treatment and their good living under that's Islam right. and Muslims in Spain. This is how he's using the quote. The so I'm being very, very courteous and generous, not using that. That's one of the difficulties or the problems with relying on second resources because you don't get the context of the primary source. If you read the primary... Joseph, I, I'm a historian. I'm sorry to say that. Whether you like it or not, I'm a qualified historian. Okay, you I, I have, I have, I got. have qualified. I don't, um, this is what I'm, we are discussing that right now. You, you, have, you have failed to show conclusively anywhere where I deliberately misrepresented history. You have failed to show one example. Has he shown any example, brothers and sisters? Oh, let people do that. Like, my, my, my Zionist, my Zionist friends out there. Did he show any example where I deliberately, clearly, conclusively misrepresented history? No, Absolutely no. not. We have been honored by so, the So on that note, I will have to end because now I will need surgery after this. After this conversation of three hours. I'm bruised all over. I, mean, I, I mean, you did most of talking, mate. <laughs> no, we did. We, we both. It was, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, to end on a positive note, there was no hate intended. There is no... Um, I mean, you bad wishes. Said, you I wish him. I wish him paradise. I wish. I wish. I wish Allah guides him to Islam, <laughs> and he goes to paradise. I do not wish Jahannam for him. I don't want him to be a Zionist. That's why this conversation took place. Do we want the Zionists to go to hellfire? Absolutely not. We want even Netanyahu and Olmert and the current one. Who's what's his name? Uh, the I current. Want, uh -huh. I want the audience. No, no, no. What's, what's the current, to be current prime minister? Minister. We even, we even, even him. We want this him to go to paradise. To All part. the crimes they have committed. Repent. Ask God for repentance. Ask Him for forgiveness. You have a chance. So long as you are alive, you can repent, turn to God, and you may be forgiven by God, despite all the crimes you have committed against the Palestinian people. So we do not wish you hellfire. We do not wish you death. We do not wish you bad. We wish you well. Even though all the crimes you are committing against the Palestinian people and beyond, we wish you well. We wish you the best. We want you to go to paradise. Okay? We don't want you to die and burn in hellfire. We don't. We don't. Likewise, Joseph, I have nothing but sympathy. Okay? We have a very proud a very powerful history. We have a very, very magnificent past. The history of the Muslim civilization. We are proud of it. No one can take this away from us. No one, no one ever can take this. So long as we, the Muslims, the criminals, we are the criminals for not studying our history. If we were studying our history, our condition, our situation wouldn't be the same. If we studied what we achieved in the past and the glorious past we have, the Muslim civilization, the best scholars, the best poets, the best military generals, the best kings in some cases. We are the most magnificent cities in the world. The best institutions for over a thousand years, the Muslim universities were the best in the world. Okay, we need to talk about that more so that we can wake up to it, right? So we are the criminals for not studying it. So I wish you best. I wish you the best. My closing, my yeah. closing thoughts. Yeah. What Adnan does, he studies history, but he selectively represents or misrepresents. The Jewish history under Islam was one of both good and bad. Back-breaking jizya. I provided quotes 
of Jews who were forced to flee the land because they couldn't pay the GCA, even though they themselves were impoverished. I brought examples of the back-breaking taxes that were put on Jerusalem under the Abbasids. How the community had to, like, literally... You're repeating arguments. Houses. You're repeating arguments. So were you, Adam. So were you. And no, so, I, I, I finished it. I didn't want to discuss anymore. See, I didn't interrupt him. He cannot allow me to speak. And this is, thank God, why we have our own country, where we can have freedom of speech. And we're not under the boot of the Muslim. And so... How, how did you produce all the scholars and poets and intellectuals? And so, those like, who are writing in uh, the, uh, the, the Hebrew language and Arabic uh, alphabets. Are you finished? If all of them were persecuted. Are you finished? No one stopped. It's uh, Joseph. Are you finished? You know, are, you no, finished? You're really, are you finished? I'm finished. A yeah. Jew couldn't even build a synagogue. They couldn't even ride a horse. A Jew could not ride a, a Jewish horse. Prime they Minister. had to wear distinctive. A Jewish Prime they had Minister. to wear distinctive clothing. The ulema constantly. Uh, the physician of the Sultan. Constantly could not ride a, ride, the ride a horse. But consistently attacked the caliphs if they employed Jews. There was a huge. So he's now contradicting. So the sultans were employing Jews and the scholars were consistently I'm attacking them. Have... So he's now saying that the sultans were actually employing Jews and not giving them horses. As, as Does that make sense? We don't need it. Does that make sense? So no, this I'm... guy doesn't even listen to himself. He doesn't listen to what he's saying himself. So, so the sultans were employing Jews. <laughs> we're still there. Oh, I want to talk ages ago. We're still there. Still there. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph is going to kill you today. Thank you for Joseph, he's gonna, he's really. Okay, so Joseph now, just now, having said all those things, directly contradicting, uh, contradicting his own statement. He's now saying sultans were employing the Jewish people and the scholars were attacking the sultan. So now, which one is it? Which one is it? Were they employing the Jewish people? And when they were employing them, were they taking away their horses from them and putting yellow badges on them and persecuting them and, and imposing jizya, crushing jizya on them? Or were these Jewish people given high positions, honor and dignity? So much so that the scholars of Islam were disturbed. They were attacking the sultans for employing the Jewish people. What are you talking about? Are you even making sense? He's gone back to the quotes. Okay, so let him continue. He's gonna do again shot, gu shotgun tactics. I don't have to. Are you gonna Are you gonna do the same again? Are you gonna, I, I, we're gonna go on for another three hours. To to okay, no, no problem. We'll, we'll stay. We'll stay. <laughs> so let's finish amicably on are an you, amicable note. Are you gonna let me speak? Yeah, amicably, like a gentleman. So again, he's not, huh? No. Okay, sorry. That's his opinion. I didn't say that. He said you're not. You're not a gentleman. Continue. I can't change people's minds, can I? So very soon, Jews faced persecution. Jews were second class citizens under Islam. Adnan is correct, there were court Jews. There were what? Court Jews. They're very well, the court Jews. Amnon Cohen wasn't saying that. He was talking about Jewish businessmen flourishing, happy. Uh, the Jewish subjects Adnan, of the Sultan had nothing Jew? to mourn. Adnan, what's a court Jew? These are not court Jews. But what is a court Jew? A court Jew is a, an, a, an employee of the Sultan. It's, a, it's a, not just an employee of the Sultan, it's anyone who has an official role within. So that's an employee of the Sultan. And so, that's a court Arun Jew. Arun al Rashid ruled that the only position they could hold was a money changer or was a physician. And the, with Abdurrahman III in Spain, the only position they could hold was a prime minister. Right? And in, in, in Granada, in the 11th century, in 1060s, Samuel Hanagat could only take the Prime Minister's position. You see what, you see how he's doing? You see what debate? he's doing? Are you going to yeah. let me finish so, one sentence? Say, say, say. Are you going to let me finish one sentence in this debate? Seriously. No, if you're going to if you're going to spew this kind of stuff, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. You're going to talk about Harun Rashid giving the money change. Hey, now he's contradicting himself. So Harun Rashid now is giving jobs to the Jewish people. I thought they were persecuted. They were being killed. What the hell are you saying, man? Are you even listening to yourself? First you said sultans were employing them, the scholars were attacking them. That means the sultans, sultans were employing them, they were in good positions. Now you're saying Harun al-Rashid was giving them money, Adnan, money what changes. Am I, what am I saying, Adnan? You're saying, you're saying the Jews were persecuted and then you're, you, you are giving us evidence to the contrary. That the sultans were employing them, Harun al-Rashid was giving them jobs. Go on, go on. So very simply, I'll start with what I, I'll end with what I started. 
the Jewish history under Islam was mixed. The reason oh, why good. the reason we get it somewhere. The reason it's now mixed. I don't know, I thought you were gonna let me speak. From a very bad from a very bad evil experience, the Jewish people are suffering. Now we have come to mix. At least we there is a mix now. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. You need this to be under Islam. Inshallah, two more times you're going to be a Muslim. Soon, inshallah. Inshallah. Two more debates. Two more, inshallah. Two more debates, you'll be a Muslim, inshallah. He's making progress. History, Jewish history under Islam was mixed. Anyone familiar with Islamic sources knows that the virtues in positions of authority and the reason they were in those positions of authority was because they were skilled at that so when it comes to being a doctor there were jews jews were some of the best doctors in the medieval period thank you in both christendom and islam no uh, no not, not and continue continue you make your points and I, I won't stop jews you. and christians because of the previous kingdoms, the Christian kingdoms they lived in, that were skilled at tax collecting and money, um, um, you know, certainly in the Jewish case, money lending, money changing. And so Jews and Christians were given these positions by the caliphs because it was in their interest to use this skilled labor. The people, the Muslims and the ulema, were outraged by this and so what tended to happen was those Jewish tax collectors, those Jewish doctors would find themselves fired, would find themselves persecuted. Examples, the example, example. Where, where, the, where, the, where, where one physician was fired from his position. Isn't this amazing? Amazing discussion, isn't it? One example of a Jewish physician who was fired from his position because the ulama made noise. Why would ulama remove a useful doctor from his position and let people die. What kind of fatwa is this? Huh? If a Jewish doctor is doing a good job, why would you remove him from his position? It doesn't make sense. So he just made a claim and he, I want him to give evidence. That's why... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. A Jewish doctor removed from his position. And this is from Nisam al -Mur. Sorry? Nisam al -Mur. What's that? It's a Muslim historian. Huh? A Muslim historian. Nizam al Mulk. Nizam al Mulk. Yeah. No, he's not a historian. Okay, he was a vizier. Okay, vizier. He was so a vizier, vizier in Baghdad in the 10th um, century. Umar ibn al Khattab appointed a Jewish tax collector in Iraq. After Muslims complained, Umar sacked him. Sayyid ibn al Waqqas examined the issue of the Jewish tax collectors and found that only this one knew the work properly. Umar said, Act as if the Jew is dead. He then appointed a Muslim who was more successful. Which okay. is an example this, of this what is I'm Nizam saying. Mulk? Yes. Nizam al Mulk is not a Muslim historian. Okay. And I can, I can, I can tell you this report doesn't exist. This I can, I can. You're gonna now have to just like you, okay. you you've been pestering me on sources, yeah. I now challenge you okay. to bring this report from Omar bin Khattab, where Perfect. a Jewish man was appointed. Perfect. Firstly, Perfect. firstly, I'll firstly, 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 now, 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 I will do that. Yeah, 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 you can, you can, you can. But even, even if this incident is true, it really pulls the rug from your feet. Earlier you were saying Omar had, I, 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 well, 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 earlier you were saying Omar had banished I'm all not, the Jews. He, he, he ethnically cleansed the Jews. Wait, 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 wait. Do you remember he said that? Okay, wait, okay. To Omar, Omar, he ethnically Omar. cleansed them from okay. Hijaz. So how do you ethnic, ethnic, how do you ethnically cleanse someone and then appoint them to a position of tax collector? Do you know what ethnic you know what cleanse means? What, it, what does it mean? It means remove someone of an ethnicity no, it, from it, a region. It, it, yeah, it, it means killing no, off. No, it doesn't. That's genocide. Okay, okay, go on. For a historian, you don't go know on. your terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Eth ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing. So genocide has yeah, a legal yeah, definition. Yeah, ethnic yeah. cleansing doesn't, but in common okay, parlance, okay, okay. it means the removal well, of the people based on ethnicity. Wait, wait. It comes from the atrocities Wait, and Serbia. Are you going to stand by this? Yes, ethnic cleansing is the removal of an ethnic group from an area. Is it, okay. It's the forced removal of an ethnic, racial or religious group from a ethnic given area. Ethnic cleansing is the systematic forced removal of ethnic, racial and religious groups from a given area with intent of making a region ethnically homogeneous along with direct removal, extermination, Microwave. deportation or population transfer. It also includes indirect methods said. aimed at forced Literally migration by coercing the victim group to flee and preventing his turn in return such as murder, such as murder. Are you listening? 
No, 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 no. You read the first sentence and you went hooray, yeah? But let me read. Wait, wait, wait. Such, what I said wait, wait, wait. Such as murder. Is the removal of are, you, are you listening? Wait, wait, wait. Such as murder. Wait, wait. Such as murder. What, what, what Israel is doing to Palestinians, right? Would you describe <laughs> yeah, it the same so, way? Say, say okay, what he's yeah, doing now. He's running okay. away. He knows okay, that. He, okay, okay, can wait. you concede that? Such point? as murder, can you concede rape, that when I said and ethnic, property destruction. What's my so, definition of so, ethnic so cleansing? Omar, Omar, Omar was committing murder, rape, and what property the, destruction, the other and then appointing the same Jews to go and that, tax collect. What were the other examples of ethnic cleansing? Was the removal of the people. Omar al khattab removed the Jews from the Hejaz to Iraq. Which is where we're talking about now. He removed them to Yeriko, this is, Jericho, this is true. Israel. This is true. But it That's was not ethnic cleansing. It was means. not ethnic cleansing. I mean, it that is ethnic, ethnic cleansing. cleansing. It's not. When you remove an ethnic group from an area, you literally just cleansing. read the definition. Okay, okay. So why was he ethnic cleansing? You know what I mean? It is what, the let me, let me explain. What, what ethnic, cleansing, area what ethnic, ethnic cleansing means? Ethnic cleansing means what Israel is doing to Palestinians. Okay, okay. This is exactly what it means. Literally, two million Arabs okay, living okay, in wait, Israel. Wait. Now, no, 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 wait, 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 uh, what they say about the, the treatment in Israel. So Do you want me to play videos right now? Wait, 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 wait. You just made a claim. Notice wait, you said happened. the Arabs are there. Are they in Israel? Okay. Yes. Have yeah. they been ethnically How cleansed? do they feel no. about Israel? How do they this feel? Really, how many Jews are there living under the Palestinian zero? Zero, because they were ethnically cleansed. Because how many the, Jews are living in Saudi Arabia in the Hejaz? Zero, because they were ethnically cleansed by Umar al khattab He doesn't like the word ethnically be cleansed because it has negative. Because ethnic cleansing negative, constitutes forceful the murder, Jews were rape, removed. Wait, 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 rape, rape, it does not and have removal, to be removal, it does not and have destruction. It can simply mean the removal of so, an ethnic. So why were the Jews in? Uh, why were the Jews in Palestine? for 1,000 years. What were they doing there? It's, if Omar... Omar oh, oh, wait, 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 from the hijaz. wait, wait, if, okay, okay. Adnan, wait, wait. the hijaz, okay. listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Umar al khattab ethnically cleansed every single Jew point. from the hijaz. I, yes I, or no? I, 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 yes or no? No, no, let me explain now what, what he's trying to do. Because he's NBC, Fox News and CNN, just like the Muslims are terrorists on news channels today, okay, just like that Omar was an ethnic cleanser, right? In, in same light, just as Muslims are seen as terrorists, extremists by these Answers, Western media yes. outlets, just like that Omar yes. was an ethnic the cleanser. What ethnic Omar did, let me explain, the there is a difference. After being, you see, after wait, let me being, finish. After being taxed 50%, let me finish. ethnically cleansed. Okay, let me finish. Omar, Omar, ethnic cleansing, wait, 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 wait. ethnic cleansing constitutes specific behavior, right? Which has been defined by scholars, be quiet. Which scholars? Be quiet. Okay, 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 wait, 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 Okay. Very good. Yeah, that's, that's why right. there's zero that's Jews right. 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 Zero I don't need to know about it because I'm... Every okay. Arab country has the audacity Wait. to say that Jews ethnic cleanse. Okay. After Jews have been removed from almost every Muslim country, just like Omar al khattab ethnically cleansed the Jews from he's the Hijaz. He's not going to... Ethnically You have to let me speak. You made the point. 50 times you made the same point. Now let me make my point once. Ethnic cleansing constitutes a consistent, consistent behavior towards a given community. Yes or no? Yes. No. That's it okay. Wait, 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 wait. Ethnic, ethnic cleansing. cleansing ethnic cleansing. Forms. Okay. Now, now, Omar, what Removing he did? Wait. No, be quiet. Be quiet. Did Omar? Cleansing. Who took Jerusalem from the Byzantines? Who took Jerusalem from the Byzantines? This is gonna be the answer to his question. Who took Jerusalem? in the year 637 from the Byzantines, Omar. from the Romans. Omar. Omar, he knows. Omar, were any Jews allowed in Palestine when the Byzantines were ruling? No. 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 
When was the first time the Jewish people were allowed to go back to Palestine? No, not to Palestine, to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, which is British Palestine. No, no, no. When? The country, there was when? 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 So it's in Omar. When? Omar when? Didn't. When? It's three, four. Okay, so Omar is putting the Jewish people where they wanted to do to be for the last 500 years. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. Be quiet. I'm not finished. The Jewish people were banished on pain of death from the land of Palestine forever. After the revolt of Bar Kokhba in 132 CE, Emperor Hadrian, the Roman Emperor, he raised the entire city to the ground. It destroyed the city of Jerusalem completely. It was raised to the ground due to the Jewish revolt in 132. And then no Jewish people were allowed to come back to the city of Jerusalem. After that, Christians come to power in the 4th century. They take the city of Jerusalem in, uh, after Constantine comes to power. And the Christians were always anti-Semitic. At that time, they blamed the Jewish people for killing Christ. Right? So, the Jewish people were not allowed to come to the land of Palestine. It was when Omar and the Muslims took the land of Palestine, the Jewish people were allowed to come back after almost 400 years of absence. Jews, Jews were crying to go back to Palestine and to the city of Jerusalem. They were longing for Jerusalem. Their poetry, their writings, Okay, this is where Zionist movement came from, that, from, from that longing gone wrong. That longing went wrong and this is where we got this secular, godless, atheistic movement called Zionism that really, you know, started to do something else, right? But the Jewish people were already there in Jerusalem. So what he's calling ethnic cleansing, if you spoke to the Jewish people at that time, they welcomed it. Why? Because from Arabia, they were, com they were expelled. The word is expelling. Omar expelled them, no doubt. This is historically accurate. Omar expelled the Jewish people from the Arabian Peninsula because it was sacred space for the Muslims. Okay? No, not only the Jewish people. Let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, 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 no. Don't make it something ethnic. You're a liar. No, 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 no. You have to let me finish. Imagine if Israel. No, no, no. You know, let me talk. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let people understand. I'm not interested in I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in people. Let people understand. Ethnic cleansing has to be ethnic. Yes or no? Ethnic cleansing has to be, be ethnic. Be no, 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 you're lying. That's literally ethnic cleansing no, no, in no, Serbia. No, wait, wait, Serbia, wait, Kosovo, wait, Bosnia, wait, wait, you wait, know your wait. Own okay, okay, that okay, was based on okay. People with the who were, who, who, who was expelled from Arabia? Who was? The Jewish people, the Christians, and pagan Arabs, and the very family of the Prophet. Those, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so no disbelievers were allowed in the sacred Muslim space. This is exactly what the law was. The rule was that even the family of the Prophet, the Arabs, were not allowed to exist in the Arabian Peninsula. So on that basis, Omar did not only ask the Jews to leave, it were the Christians of Najran, the Jewish people of Hejaz, and the pagan Arabs of Arabia. All of them were asked to leave. So your spin, your lies will not work. Okay, now, now, so what happens? So the Jewish people move to Yemen, they move to Syria, they move to Palestine, and they flourish for the next thousand years, which is what Joseph People like him, Zionists like him, cannot fathom. On that note, I have to go. Sorry, my Salah time. You know. Thank you very much.